right welcome everyone to session number six i think if i haven't completely lost count i think it's session number six of blades in the dark dang we're getting far yeah um yeah joe congrats on first <laughs> and, as i should be uh, unborn hi thanks for those redeems um yeah do you guys want to quickly introduce yourselves what's up y'all it's me it's your boy babu chan coming at you once again tell your partner i say hi <laughs> what's up i'm uh solagato v singer sun devil v tuber uh cringe lord anime gamer and game reader yeah um my 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 hands are wet with the final fantasy 14 update yeah <laughs> <laughs> not <Nah>, okay <laughs> oh my <laughs> what the um, fuck did you even say right there i don't know dude no nah, okay oh my. But, like you know, okay you know when you say your feet are wet like okay whatever better <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking. That's not the part that got me. Wait, what was it's the video thing game you? Raider? And I thought you said no, Raider. Like Raider. all of a sudden, no, I did say like, Raider. I'm gonna say. Dude, also, yeah. I'm gonna start rating video games. I heard I that give as well. Thief Simulator, a three out of five. <laughs> I, oh my god! All right, no raiding, like with a D, not with a T. God, let let Joe introduce himself, Soul. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! Yo, what's up? I'm your friendly neighborhood edgy boy, Arachno Joe. I uh, I stream. Uh, I work on animation and fighter. Yes. Yay! As you can tell, yes, the PNG but, uh... is moving. Is uh, moving. So I, uh, I got Kimmich. So it's <laughs> all right. Yeah, and I'm here just to hopefully uh, see these people go through lots of chaos and see what happens. So, who are you, Chichen? I don't. I have never met you before. Who are you again? Uh, I'm I'm your lord and master. You're in my house right now. Well, how are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> I but, like I like how you're already getting on the domineering before Vanilla is even here to make us <laughs> RR. Oh my, oh my god! Uh, oh my god, dude! Don't don't say that name around here. We will summon we will summon him here. Oh man! As soon as you say Ana Ana, right. <laughs> Rises from the grave. Exactly. <laughs> Just T poses into existence. Oh. Unborn, you. Unborn, are unborn. you for? <laughs> Hell yeah, unborn. <laughs> Swag. All right, let's let's start the evening off with that then, shall we? Uh, would anyone like to go first, or or should I? So many fantastic train wrecks. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll, I'll go first then. I think Soul is dead. <laughs> really? Oh, I didn't... No, I'm not. Oh, hi. <laughs> I thought somebody oh. else was going first. Yeah, if, you, if you do fall asleep, just let us know. Uh, yeah, um. I will. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll let you know. I'm not saying that I'll fall asleep. Clarify, <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, da, da. I thought that was soul. I was gonna be like, "What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the sweet summer boy?" I knew. Oh, baby is falling asleep. <laughs> there we go. Caught him. Nah, I woke up. Bad, like bad woke up, baby. We talking about? <laughs> I was like, "Ooh, activation." I made that. Ara, ara. <laughs> Hit it with a slight question? Oh? Ara, ara, but I'll... questioning? I hit you with the big cringe one. <laughs> <laughs> ara, ara. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, fucking gets me every time. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, fun fact. I also have a form that's a cackle a smile. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I need to check if I have a cooldown on that redeem my. If, if not, I need to put a <laughs> cooldown on there. Oh, no. Jesus, how dare you? There's a cooldown. There's a cooldown. There yes. There is. If okay, you good. Be bold I just that girl, uh, it yeah. only costs uh, $10 to my uh, <laughs> PayPal account, and then you can see Soul Cat Girl. <laughs> I've got like exclusive soul the, cat girl picks. Uh, like going towards like, the gas that, money for when I drive through. Put that PayPal in the chat, please. Uh huh. Just going towards <laughs> the gas Take money PayPal. for the, the soul to Bebu trip, right? Uh huh. <laughs> soul to soul, February fucking Wednesday. live. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let me uh, get mine out of the way. Even though it's weird not having vanilla here, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Nice. Okay. With that out of the way, um, <laughs> I think we can ease into the game now. Um, yeah, last session was two weeks ago. Anyone remember what happened? Uh, we, we started this new business called Jimmy John's. God, <laughs> no! Oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I will never forget that. Oh, uh, yes, you, you actually did. <laughs> I literally oh, told this to my friends this week, <laughs> this entire story, and once I said, yeah, we are now Jimmy John's, they <laughs> bursted. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, I tell everybody, never mind. I was going to say something very, very fucked up. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, I don't. I, oh, Lord. Oh, man. Uh, was last was the last session when we talked to that fucking guy from the main, the bill hooks? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we talked about he, that piece of shit. He he gave us the champagne glasses, and and Jimmy just downed like at All least of it. four or five of them. <laughs> yeah, because we fucking drink it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Trying to and schmooze, and you were like, "Oh, I don't drink. I'm a teetotaler." <laughs> Real uh, life, that's respectable. That's like respectable. Vi you, you, we playing characters though. I'll dog in your character all day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So you managed to talk to um, that that local boss from the Bill Hooks um, to leave you alone, basically, and to uh, lend you one of their agents, who is yeah. Bebu or Jimmy's friend, old acquaintance, right? exactly. Did we do we still have to pay them a coin, or did we just kind of say, "Yo, don't mess with us"? No, when you use uh, what's her name, Grace? Yeah, Grace. when you. Oh yeah, yeah. When you when we use, we have to pay. Yeah. Pay them. Gotcha. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. There are a handful of other things uh, I kind of forgot at the end of last session. But I've written them down because I now have a notebook. So first off, uh, Silas, I, I, I wrote down here. You get one XP for mediating. Oh, the um. Yeah, what uh, was it exactly that I mediated? Could you refresh my memory? Uh, I think it was when. When you were talking to Margaret in the beginning, like with her finger oh, cut off you're and all right, that, actually, yeah. Um, I did tell her to eat stinky fart. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, basically, Jimmy was like emitting emitting big piss baby energy. <laughs> he was really fucking annoyed <laughs> by um what's her face because she. Well, no, actually, she was being a piss baby too. Yeah, fuck um, Margaret. 
<laughs> um, and then um, they just were getting real grumpy with each other, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have Silas be like, let's 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 chill with the altercation. Yep. Exactly. Um. So that's oh, one XP there. Uh, you said, and I'm putting that in any in either insight prowess or resolve or your playbook. All at any oh, of yeah, those. Your playbook. Yeah. Oh, I'm so close. Two more. All right, and then because this wasn't a thing before last session, uh, that Jimmy and John now have trauma. Yay! And um, if you have at least one trauma and you do not indulge your vice, you get stress. Oh, so we get stress oh. at least, at least oh. once, right? Yeah, so the ah, gotcha, idea gotcha. is every time you don't indulge your vice during downtime, uh, you get stress equal to how many traumas you have. So if you oh, have gotcha, zero gotcha. trauma, you, you get, get zero, zero stress, stress, right? So gotcha. you can ignore that. Yeah. Um, I was wondering what the downside of trauma was. Yeah. <laughs> that said, if you guys want... You can still buy an extra downtime action by spending one coin or one rep and use that to indulge oh, your vice, right? Gosh, so you yeah. get two downtime actions for free, and any additional ones are either you have to pay for them with coin or you spend so much time not doing anything that you lose rep because people start forgetting you. It's kind of like how... When John got kicked in by the blue coats, uh, and, uh, to get to, to get back from two harm to one harm, right? Not quite. That was spending coin to make a roll more effective. Okay, gotcha. Right, but you can also spend coin or rep to to just get a whole other action if you want otherwise you will get one stress gotcha. um and we, and we get the one stress every single downtime time yeah, yeah. if you don't indulge your vice indulge your vice. yes and i'm guessing we have a we can have a total of four traumas then when you get your fourth one uh that's it you're you're, you're out yeah you're out yeah yeah, yeah. okay major major and then um Jimmy has a splinted arm. He does. That uh, you also didn't spend any downtime actions actively trying to uh, recuperate. Does it get worse? It doesn't get worse. Instead, you get a free roll on, on the healing clock. But this quote-unquote free roll that doesn't cost you a downtime action instead costs you one stress. Oh shit, do I have to do it? Yes, you automatically heal, but if you don't actually have someone look after it, you just tough it out and gain a stress. So you can, again, spend coin or rep to gain an additional downtime action um, for healing, if you want. Um, fuck it, take the stress. Okay, and then you make a healing roll. What was that? Ooh. I think that's full. Uh, six, that's three. That's three? Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait, no, hold on. Zero ah. dice take the lowest result. Sorry. I didn't... Wait, how come there's... Damn. Yeah, true. So it's it's only two. Yeah, because you rolled the four. Yeah. Okay. And it's kind of like a half, like a half thing. Yeah. Right. So like, if you get a six, you get a three, a four, a two, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, well, it's the same like one, two, and three. Yeah. And then four, five, and six. Okay. That's yeah. Gotcha. Um. <laughs> and then final thing is uh the situation with Margaret. Where is your crew? There we go. So remember how Margaret is keeping her head down for a while? Mm -hmm. So I am going to add a clock to your crew sheet, which is a um, 
a project that anyone could do during the downtime, and that is to convince the bill hooks to uh, leave Margaret alone. Leave Margaret alone. And once you've filled up this clock, uh, your surplus cash comes back. Damn, do we have to do that? If you... I don't want our surplus cash. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't want to have the surplus cash, or if you want to just go for something completely new, uh, then, then you can ignore that. But for now, it is a project that you can do during downtime um, to try and convince the bill hooks to to have Margaret do business with you again and not cut off any more fingers. Can we kill Margaret? Uh, you, you can also do <laughs> that, uh, sure. Shit, no, we can't kill people. <laughs> Fuck. Well, I mean, I did an accident. <laughs> Yeah, you put out an accident, but we're not like purposefully being like, it's time to commit murder! I mean, is, wait, wait, wait. Okay, but serious question. Yo. Then that is a mechanic that we can do in the game, yeah. Kill people? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Like, I, I know. Well, yeah, okay, can I'm not, kill I'm not people. suggesting we do because I don't think it would be a good idea. I'm just like, I'm just seeing if that's like, you know, like on the table yeah i mean if you want to murder well, people murder sure an option. you just have to deal with the consequences yeah, yeah i don't want to deal with the consequences of murdering <laughs> people in the funny ghost place no thanks what consequences <laughs> you wouldn't know jack shit about fucking consequences would you because jimmy took the fuck care of it <laughs> Talking about fucking consequences to fucking Jimmy. Oh, I was man. gonna say one. I I think one of us is like literally fucking possessed by a demon or whatever, and I'm like, I don't know, man. Not nah, yet. No one's possessed. <laughs> I'm not possessed, okay, but he's like talking to him. He's in cahoots with a demon because ooh, spicy. <laughs> I can't get arrested for hiring a prostitute if I never give her money. <laughs> I hate that. I wait, hate wait. That. I, hate, I, I hate that. You can't. So you can talk to a demon all you want. You're not possessed until you're actually possessed. Okay. Oof. It I makes guess. sense. All right. My logic is sound. I, <laughs> it's something. My logic is undeniable. And at this moment, I feel euphoric. <laughs> oh my god alright um okay so that's that for now um yeah about a week passes and things change in Duskwall as they always do so one of them is that um your smuggler buddy Hoxley Right. Uh, yeah. All the way at the beginning, comes and visits you once again, hangs out in your shop, and then <laughs> just kind of makes friendly conversation, and then drops a bit of a bombshell. Right, saying, so Hoxley is um, affiliated with a smuggler crew called the Foghounds. Right, who um, mm -hmm. who are one of the biggest smuggler crews in Duskwall. And then after he's uh, had a bit to uh, drink and relax and such, he leans in a bit conspiratorially. It's like, yo, I'm, I'm not really supposed to uh, share this too loud, so so keep this among yourselves, you know? But uh, we're the big guys now. We're, we're the only smugglers left in Duskwall. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so, uh, what happened to the rest of them? Well, uh, we took care of them. And he's like all proud of that. So he puffs his chest out a little bit. You know how business is. You, uh, gotta take the market share, right? How'd you take care of this market share? You talking. You making bodies? Uh, 
I I I don't know how the people did it. I'm I'm just a runner. But uh we're, we're the only we're the only gang doing this stuff now, eh? Question for GM. Yo. So when someone dies and uh okay, let me bring up the uh the big map. Uh so okay, yeah. We are in uh Come on, bro. Twenty, give you work. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, you're you're like you're like here in Night Market. Yeah, Night Market Major. If uh, we're we're Night Market, <clears throat> and we go and someone dies over in like the docks, are the bells loud enough that we can hear them from Night Market? No, like you okay, can only so. hear them in the crematorium and in the direct vicinity. Gotcha, gotcha. Mm. So, it's, right. so it's not like a Hunger Games thing where someone There's no dies. Fun to kill. Yeah, exactly. Okay, gotcha. Oh, so we wouldn't know if someone dies in the dock or like bright. No, not, not from the gotcha. bell. Not from yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, fumble, folks. Hello. How are you doing? Thank you for the raid. Uh, Hello, raiders. Yo, what's, what's up, raiders? Up? I do recall that you were, um... <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> also doing the tabletop RPGs. Uh, Dungeons & Dragons. Ooh. Which, Dungeons uh... Dungeons & Dragons? I'm sorry, we were talking about that stuff around here. Based <laughs> on the hit upcoming movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm kidding. <laughs> For legal reasons, that was a joke. For <laughs> yeah, what how... do you mean legal reasons? <laughs> I don't know. You, you, uh, you gotta excuse my <laughs> players. <laughs> um, it's more like emotions and dragons. Ah, oh, see that's I, I all right, that. all right. Yeah. That's the only D and D games I ever GM'd was emotions it's... and dragons. E and D. It's yes, exactly. It's always for legal reasons. <laughs> Hi, uh, Barb 8 Mac. Hey, yeah. Barb, how you doing? Hi. Um, but yeah, uh, how how was your your game? Did you, uh, I don't know, were you playing an official campaign, like a, a, a released one, or what was, what was going on? We are once again in uh, Blades in the Dark. We're in session six of... Doing some scoundreling, a homebrew setting. Oh, that sounds very, very interesting. That's the best way to do uh, it. Yeah, exactly. Always. Episode 35. Wow. Wow. Undercover and underground. <laughs> Session 35 is impressive, especially uh, a streamed campaign. That is... Okay, yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's very humbling. We'll get there. Don't worry, we'll get there. <laughs> Hopefully, all right. How do I how do I get my players to show up thirty five times? <laughs> Please, <laughs> God, tell me. Dang. You pay them. Dang. <laughs> so you're Wait, what the fuck? Are you paid? Wait, no, no, no. I get Chief paid. Dan, where where's my paycheck? <laughs> I'm your player and your mod. I should get double pay for this. It's it's like seven coin a week for the whole crew, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Yo, how do I. Yo, Siri, how do you ban someone from Twitch? <laughs> you have to ask Siri how to do that, and you're his mod? I'm concerned. Not you. Alright, Cheech, and I'm offering you a premium exclusive deal. You can fire Joe and hire me and pay me money. <laughs> now, Cheech, and I'm offering you a more. Uh, oh god. Premium deal. Um. We uh get on with the session. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Swag. I win. I'm the best mod. Fuck both of you. <laughs> I'm Keegan's favorite. All right. Um, but yeah, as I was trying to say, Hoxley, your smuggler friend. Right. So, so the 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 situation I'm kind of imagining with with Hoxley, and you guys is like, uh, have you guys seen Boondock Saints? The movie yes yeah yes. so like you know how the two main characters are friends with this uh, uh mafia small rocco? time mafia running yeah rocco and yeah. um like he's their friend but that doesn't mean they're connected to the mafia and he's not really big in the mafia and or so he's just like a small dude right like work guy um that's kind of the situation here right so hoxley is 
I mean, yeah, he is part of the Foghounds. He's part of the uh, the smuggling crew, but he's not one of the the decision makers. He's not one of the the inside inside people, All right? And he just kind of hangs out with you because you have uh, bus- like overlapping business interests. Um, so that's kind of what I'm imagining here. Okay. Um. But yeah, so so he's all going proud and then saying, yeah, so now the Foghouts control the smuggling business in the city. They've kind of one way or another taken out all the other smuggling crews that were there. Um, not that there were a lot of very powerful ones to begin with, right? And um, yeah, and then but then before he leaves, he gets a little bit somber, right? Kind of like it, it's like drug induced clarity <laughs> where he gets like uh, uh, suddenly a bit serious, leans in to you guys and says, <clears throat> But uh, you guys have to watch out, you know, now that now that we run the show, people might want to charge extra. <clears throat> Uh, people? Yeah. You know. uh, are, are you telling me you took over... Are you trying to tell me that you guys took over the bill hooks? No. No, no, no. Then why the hell would we pay you? I mean, Huxley, I like you. You're, you. you're an okay guy, but... If you want to get stuff smuggled, you know, gotta gotta watch out. It's my, my friendly advice to you. Hmm. And then I, I just have Silas, like, look at the the guy with kind of like a furrowed brow and then look at, at Jimmy and just go is uh is, is he is he bullshitting? I don't know. I haven't I mean, I haven't been out there. I don't fucking know. I don't I listen to what smugglers <laughs> are doing. And then I just go this guy? Really? I mean, he's just telling you what he's hearing from from his uh his crew or his his gang right? yeah so you do know that the fog hounds are pretty big and given enough time they could conceivably take over smuggling in the city which is apparently what happened hmm hmm all right all right hmm Jimmy, Jimmy's good for now. Jimmy's good for <laughs> Jimmy's now. Good. All right. So uh, he then he then leaves after a couple more drinks of your awesome tea um, and and all the the fumes of your shop, um, <clears throat> and just just kind of leaves you with with like a friendly, yeah, friendly heads up, right? That that things are now going to change in the city. And uh, speaking of change, right, a day later, <clears throat> you see someone you haven't seen in a while. And that someone is a big burly man by the name of Ulf. Ulf Ironborn. Who uh, is a fellow... I Hold on, where did he help you out? Oh, this was like... All the way in the God, beginning. What, like yeah. session two? Yeah, exactly. When you uh, decided, right, who's friends with us? Oh, shit. And I was like, oh, maybe that was session one. Oh, yeah. My God. Oh, my God. Dang. <laughs> Time for Yeah, us. exactly. Well, yeah, I guess like session, like actual like session one, one, not zero. Or yeah, exactly. Stuff. So... Of Ironborn, fellow Skovlander, comes in. Um, and at first he's all smiles and and hugs and and whatever else you're comfortable with, right? Going, hey, hey, how are my good friends doing? I haven't seen your ugly faces in a long time. And then he just like claps you guys on the back and. And laughs and like 
picks up a random mug from someone's table and just downs it. It's like, Ooh, what was that? Just puts it back down. Um, and, and just kind of is his big boisterous self in your shop. Okay, so it's like we just haven't seen him in a while and he's acting like normal. Like that's like yeah. Funny. yeah. He's normally like that is not Yeah. He's okay. he's like a, a big deadly teddy bear. Okay. Uh I'll just have Silas like, you know like ru- rub his own back a little bit like Ah, buddy, how you been? Like, and he's like rubbing his back because he's like that hurt a little bit. Like, he's just, like, light, light smack was like a hammer to the spine from this guy. <laughs> All my back problems gone. <laughs> That's he's the real chiropractor. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I'll just I just have Silas like look at it. You said he's like real tall, like he's like towering over us. Like he's tall too, or he's just buff. Uh, mainly buff, I would say. Okay, and I'll just have yeah, I'll just have Silas look at him and be like, yeah, "How you been, buddy?" Well, he's like rubbing his own back out of the hand <laughs> from the. Head. Oh, I've I've been good, making some new friends, making lots of new enemies. You know how it goes. And then finally, like, sits down at an empty table. And and the the other patron he stole the muck from is like looking at him angrily, um, but like doesn't dare speak up against this huge buff guy. Um, and yeah, it's basically just like I don't know. Do you guys have like uh, bartenders or baristas or something like other people working there? Huh? Do like, we I, actually act here, or do we just sell, like, loose leaf? Oh, like, tea bags, but then we hand them a cup of hot water? I mean, or do I we do that, just sell I do loose that at my leaf job. tea? <laughs> <laughs> like, just, just loose leaf tea. <laughs> oh, you mean, oh, okay. You mean, like, literal, like, loose leaf tea. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh-huh. This is what what do we do, gamers? Well, I mean, okay. So when you were you were out for a second, this dude, um, something with an yeah. O, and it sounded like, or would or did you hear it for then? Uh, I vaguely remember him. I don't remember Ish. his name, but I remember uh, the, uh, Ulf, right? Ulf, Ulf, yeah, Ulf. Yeah, Ulf. Born, yeah. Ulf, not Ulf. Okay, it's Ulf. Ulf. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he, he came up and smacked us on the back and was like, "How do you do, motherfuckers?" And was like. You know how you been, like while while you were out, and uh, kind of just chatting it up with him. Um, but yeah, um, but, and on the way in, they got, there's somebody just staring at him because um, he took their mug and kind of downed it. We want to decide what's in that. <laughs> and, Bro, uh, some some of your uh, tea. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cause he went. Oh shit. What was that? <laughs> what hey, I just uh, drink? Hey, Ulf. You well, you hear about this uh foghound shit? Foghounds. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, Oxley's crew. Yeah, I I heard about that. That was some some messy business. Uh. No, no. I'm I'm not here for that. Oh, but um, you confirm it. Well, I I did hear that fox uh, foghounds will have been stirring up some trouble. (laughs) He's he's already like his tongue is upside down from the tea or something. Oh. Do we know who he's a part of? Like, who is he with? He's, he's just our, like a community. He's a, he's a dude, right? He said he's, he. Well, yeah. I mean, he said he's like he said he's making lots of. Uh, he's making a few new friends and a lot more new enemies, and he's our yeah. friend. <laughs> he's he's basically a one man army. Yeah. Just fighting for Scotland rights, and, dude and knows such. What he's about. Yeah. And I just, uh, I have Silas look over and he goes, uh, Ulf, you, uh, you, you good, buddy? The... <laughs> you ah, just middle, messing with you. Yeah. Claps on the table and then can you swear you can hear a bit of the wood crack? Um, 
<laughs> I just have no, hey, hey, watch it with the, the wood. It's, we just had that refinished, but okay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm here to, uh, and he looks around a little bit, but like anyone he meets eyes with, it just, just quickly turns away and like looks down at their drink or, or is suddenly busy with a blank spot at the wall or so. Um, and turns back to you. Came here to warn you. Oh. There's there's something uh, going down. And that might be Well What exactly? The bill hooks. I don't know if you actually know this. The big boss of the bill hooks is an iron uh crap, sorry, <laughs> that was a burp. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I forgot what the prison is called. I am stupid. Um, Iron Hook. He's <clears throat> currently hold up an Iron Hook, but, um, word is he's gonna come out soon. And, come, out of, uh, come out of where exactly? Out of the prison. Bill Hook's have been putting uh... pressure on, on magistrates for weeks now. Is there a reason this should uh, worry us? We're paid up. Yeah, but it's gonna throw all the bill hooks into disarray, and uh, you have no idea. I have no idea who's gonna be left standing afterwards. So, uh, <laughs> well, are you are you telling me the motherfucker that uh that gave us such a fucking hassle? might not have a leg to stand on. Yeah. Depends on uh, who he sides with and if that side makes it. Oof. Yeah? I could fucking kiss you. Uh, give me more tea. I fucking love this. I love this. <laughs> I love this shit. Fuck that piece of shit. <laughs> we can finally fucking give him what he goddamn deserves. <laughs> Beautiful. Fuck yeah, Wolf. You made my goddamn week. And then Sauce uh, is like, I, I, all right, all right, Jimmy. Like, this is good <laughs> news, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves yet. <laughs> it's not clear when exactly he'll be out of Iron Hook, but uh, it's happening. The magistrates are already getting things into motion. They're scared. Bill Hooks are really, really trying to make this happen. Well, we've dealt with crazier things before, so uh, this shouldn't be too bad. If so are we talking like, we're talking like a lot of bodies dropping? If things go sideways, yeah. And you guys hmm. best not get embroiled into it. Well, boys, let's hope there's a lot of bodies. <laughs> There's a lot of bodies. That means a lot of people not paying attention to us. Fair. You can get away with hey. a lot of shit when everybody's I mean, worried about a couple of bodies. Chaos is a ladder. Back when I was and doing my uh, service, I could I can see why you'd say that bodies are a good uh, diversion. <laughs> And plus, with more bodies, it means less people to deal with. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I love that. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joe. <laughs> Am I wrong, though? That means what if we do something, like, oh, what are you going to do? Send your men after us? They died last week. <laughs> got us there. They have these new guys who don't even know what's left and right is. Do you think they're gonna try and scratch us? He is spitting facts. <laughs> Big facts. <laughs> Man, those bells are gonna be a great music tonight. <laughs> True. So, uh, what's the timeline for this? We got a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Days more than weeks, I'd say. 
like. All right, Wolf, you're looking to be yeah. on the winning team. Nice, yeah, I'll uh, keep that in mind. Okay. And then he goes on into like talking about his very embellished adventures of beating up random people. Not random people, but like anti scovlin people in various oh, parts yeah. of the city. Real nationalist. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So uh, it was... Should we have... Should we have this guy as a contact? You have him uh, we as... Already do. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we do, yeah. Uh, not as a contact, but as... Um... Wasn't there like the... The, uh, as a friend of the exactly like a known which entity better, which is like closer than that uh you Probably. have like you have a status of two a plus two with him um okay, that's gotcha, gotcha. so he's not he's right. not a full ally but you're like on good terms okay, okay, okay. okay so we could easily sway him in that direction if we do shit right yeah exactly and you could win him over as an ally if you like do a favor for him maybe or, or something like that yeah Ooh, i wouldn't mind doing that hey wolf yo you uh you know margaret next door uh not necessarily why i don't know i just think the two of you long you get along real well Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> for uh, for context, for anybody who's not been here for any of the past sessions, Margaret's the big beefy lady that runs a butcher shop next door. And kind of maybe was... maybe sorta a little maybe thought she was a cannibal, and we also asked her to get her pinky chopped off. Last week we didn't do week, shit. Yeah. She did okay, that to we, herself. We didn't. She didn't do it herself, and then blamed it on us. So yeah. <laughs> Do him a favor equals matchmaking. <laughs> oh my god. Give me a matchmaker over here. Oh with my god. With the angry look. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is that she lost a couple inches and maybe she wants some back. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This entire game is over. Jimmy's gonna start e Thank you for coming by this week, everyone. <laughs> this was Plays in the Dark. Jimmy has created the, uh, it created e harmony and Plays in the Dark. Plays in the Dark, like Rebu and the Cringe. Why is this called yeah. Dusk Wall? Because you, you wall in at dusk? No. Dusk Wall, more like Dusk Ball, am I right? Uh, I, I fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> all right, I'm gonna pull, all right, I'm gonna pull the babu. Let's get, let's do the. the cool yeah, what kind of, what kind of score are we running? Yeah. So yeah, oh, so Ulf God. just stays in your shop for a little bit, drinks a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, shares stories, and has a good time in general. Totally leaves at some point. So yeah, that was some some news of the week. Big things that are happening in the city. Um, or have happened in the city. All right. So now we have the fog hounds, and now we have the bill hooks. Yep. Starting stuff. <laughs> All right, then. Is there anything you would like to do? Hmm. No, I mean I know what I I know what we should do for our job. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think we should figure out what the Bill Hooks boss from jail wants done. <laughs> I think we should just prepare to uh kiss that guy's ass as much as possible. <laughs> I didn't know Jimmy was an ass kisser. Uh, Jimmy comes from the equivalent of the Italian mob. He he doesn't have to, like, actively like someone to kiss their ass if they're, like, going to benefit him and let him fuck over someone else. Right. And I really hate that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jimmy really hates that motherfucker. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I thought you, Bebu, were talking about Jimmy. At first. Dude, I kind of do hate Jimmy. <laughs> oh my god. Jimmy's kind of the fucking worst. He's not hey, a likable Bebu, person. Like, Bebu, like, unironically, I think Jimmy is, like, a lot of the things that you dislike about masculinity. <laughs> oh, 1000%. Yeah. You were like, let me make a caricature of the shit that I don't like. That's exactly what he is. Oof. <laughs> That's why I'm playing him, you know? Play something outside yourself. That is fair. I have done that. Explore the times. worst in humanity. This is a great <laughs> name for that. Oh my god. Dang. Um. Man, I don't know, guys. What should we do? Should we try to get some turf? Oh, okay, yeah. So we gotta wait I... for what's his name to get out of jail to do anything with that, so. Yeah. This is kind of like the intermediate, kind of, the, the preparatory score for like when we're probably going to be dealing with that next week. See, I kind of want to do something with the, um, the, uh, so try and see if we can, like, we can get him along with us. Uh, you're kind of cutting out okay, a little bit. Okay, it wasn't just me. Joe was kind of turning into a robot yeah, for a second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little I, bit. I, I did. Can you hear me? You guys good? Okay. I can vaguely hear you from what I'm tell able to tell. It sounds like you want to secure friendship it, with Ol. It, yeah. Yes. And then yes. something about a medium, but I don't know what restaurant you want it from, so. Oh, no, medium? I, I thought you meant, like, contacting oh, the dead. Oh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I thought words were cut out, and then he, like, mistakenly said something, and I was like, huh? And then, no, okay, that, yeah. that makes more sense. Okay, am I good? <laughs> I think I'm good now, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah sounds yeah, good. Yeah. good. Uh, yeah, I just I was just saying like try and see if we can do something for Ulf to be, and try and get it to like hey you do things we do things you want you wanna you wanna join so you uh, do know um, that Ulf is um has a grudge against the the bill hooks. Which is why he knows about uh, the happenings, mm. right? He he is at odds with them. Do well. Do we know which well, bill, like specifically, what part of the bill hooks he's against? Because it could be a thing where he's like, "I fucking hate the guys who are out here right now," but the guys who are in jail, I'm cool with. Um, or is it just all bill hooks all on site? It's, I mean, Ulf is very irascible in general, right? Um, but it's mostly that, uh, the bill hooks control, uh, a lot of protection rackets and, and like they, they terrorize citizenry. That thing, that word, sit, yeah, anyway. And, yeah. yeah, and a lot of those people they terrorize are scofflenders because they cannot really defend themselves that well. <laughs> okay. right. So he's like, yeah, no, leave, leave my people alone. Let my people go. And, uh... <laughs> Is there a... So I'm trying to find a way we can we can multitask. We can get Ulf more on our side. We can uh, get turf, um, and we can just like not piss off the bill hooks. My yeah, I think we can my all idea. kind of because we can all kind of agree that like yeah, even though we are with the bill hooks, we don't like them. Oh yeah, I fucking hate those guys. Major, I mean, yeah, major. business is business, right? If someone is yeah, top yeah, dog, yeah. you have to kind of bow to them. But once the but once like things are going towards the wind, and they're like, oh, you have to help us. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here. I exist. Yeah. So, 
is there a part of night market that is predominantly uh scoblanian people um i wouldn't say it's necessarily a night market uh or or like there's no no concentration in night market okay. right so is the thing like if we secure turf does it have to be in night market uh not necessarily let me let me check your crew sheet um <clears throat> it no nah, i wouldn't only there's only a handful that really say um like the lookouts for instance plus 1d to survey or hunt on your turf for for example right mm -hmm. um that one yeah that would have to be in your turf but other things uh like the vice den or i don't know the foreign market etc the the personal clothier you can get a clothier from anywhere right um it doesn't necessarily have to be right like you don't have to expand building by building from where you are okay it's just areas that people know we run yeah okay uh gamers i have a proposition uh yes. all right what if we take over one of the two blank turf spots that we have to go to on our like layer to get to the next like options and we pick a Skovlanian neighborhood uh and uh help Ulf just make it safer for the people. Hmm. So that way we just kind of take that area as well, right? Yeah, that way we have it as turf because we're not running a protection bracket, but we still have our name behind it. We get Ulf on our side by helping out uh my people and his people yeah. um just uh just my first thought obviously mm -hmm. still open other options i mean Sleep. yeah i agree with that that might be the best the best one you kill two birds with one stone that could work Okay. So I, mean, I don't see any problem with that. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of Scovlanders are in the docks and Krausfoot because that's just kind of where they landed and then just stayed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um that's also where Ulf is most active. Well yeah, let's head over there. I don't even think we had over there first. I think we just asked Ulf where he thinks is the hardest hit by the bill hooks. Mm. Like, hey, uh, Ulf, you uh, you probably know this. You're a man about town. You've got connections, but we have recently had to uh, associate ourselves, unfortunately. With the bill hooks. I hate to say it, but it's true. And, uh, just like you, I hate to see that anything happen to our, uh, our, uh, people from our homeland, our compatriots. Yes, yes. And, uh, we were thinking, what well, if we threw our weight around places that are hardest hit? Get it safer for the people. At least have a place where, you know, the old and women and children don't need to be worried about walking around at night. Open a soup kitchen or two. <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> Open a scoop kitchen or two. They call it a scoop because they're scoblanders. Scoop. Oh, God. Good scoop. Good scoop. Good scoop. Good scoop. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm liking your thinking there. So, uh, what do you say? You got a place that uh, fits this bill? Yeah, sure. 
Uh, it's in crow's foot. No, oh, God. I can I could show you around there. It's a small neighborhood, couple alleys, bunch of hey. small shops and such. But um, you know, there's a a lot of pressure from outside. Well, hopefully not for long. All right. Then he just downs whatever drink he was having. Gets up, claps his hands together. Like, all right. You want to set out? Uh, you going to go do the initial uh, scoping out of the area? Uh, I, I don't need to scope out. We can No no no, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna show us the lay of the land, though, oh. right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, as I'm I'm sure you know, I'm more of a uh much more of the punch kind of guy, so why don't you take uh take one of these two? Ah fuck <laughs> it, you can take both. <laughs> You're better at this than I am. Oh my god. <laughs> Not that I'm saying I can lend them out like a dog or something, but <laughs> you know. Bark bark. Jeez. He he looks at you. It's like, ah, oh, Jimmy, your sense of humor claps you hard on the back. <laughs> Laughs at, at like a joke only he understands. I just have uh, Silas just like squint, like kind of uh, you know, like one of those, you know that that look that's like, what what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> at, at both of them, like the, the the what the hell is wrong with you stare. I just kind of give him the. Eh? Eh? All right. So, do you two want to go to Crowsfoot with him and uh, scope out what's going on? I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So he leads you to um to a small uh <clears throat> a small section of of Crowsfoot. That's like a long. The, the canal so it's like not necessarily the best area um it's it's like where people throw all kinds of stuff into the water so it's like eh not not nice um and it's just like you said there's a lot of scovland uh, refugees there just doing their own thing with like small tenements and and small shops you know it's like a lot of eateries and such selling um, as much traditional Scotland food as is possible to prepare uh, here in Duskwall. And then, um, and then as you kind of walk through the streets, he, he points out a little bit. It's like right there, those people they're uh, they're here for the money protection money and you do indeed see some um shadily dressed people like it, intimidating a um one of the shop owners or shopkeeps and uh like they're not saying yo pay us and such they're just like okay they already have a deal and they just show up and the shopkeeps like yeah okay whatever very defeated his hands over a bag of, of presumably money and the two are like the 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 shady people are also like oh and uh, I'll I'll take one of these as well and just grabs whatever food happens to be on a grill and just they just walk away laughing and you can kind of see that Ulf is breathing very heavily and fists are clenched very very tightly um and he really wants to beat these people up. Um, but yeah, it also says, I, <clears throat> I know where they're, where they're stationed, but I've never been able to uh, do anything on my own. If you want to help, very welcome. Uh, and then we're all three of us. We decided that we're all three of us were there. Yeah. Uh, There's only two of us. Yeah, Jimmy oh, is... Jimmy did not go. Yeah. No, no. Jimmy would have probably murdered some people by now. I was yeah. gonna say. 
and I just so you said Ulf is like kind of hell bent on beating the shit out of these people. Yeah, but he's like he is hot blooded or hot headed. Is, is that what you say? I don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah, yeah but yeah. yeah, like hot headed, he just does not have much control over his. Yeah, but he's also not dumb, right? He knows if he if he messes with whoever is. Uh, running the protection racket in this in this neighborhood on his own it's not gonna end well right but with yeah. you guys helping he might stand a chance all right then i then i'll just have silas like crack his knuckles and look at um at uh at john and go all right well let's give him a hand Alright. So you're just gonna beat those people up? <laughs> I, mean, I mean... If you want, Jesus sure, you can do Christ. that, you know? I'm, I'm not gonna stop you. I kinda want to. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Jimmy's like, nah, nah, nah. These guys are smarter than me. They'll make good decisions. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'm, well, you know what? No, okay. Um, let me... Okay, let me... I'll, I'll have him like kind of interject with like old for a second. He goes, uh, hold on one one second before we decide that the that violence is the best decision, even though I really wanted it to be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what's going on to me today, man. Um, it's it's the bloodthirsty uh, side. Yeah, and then I just yeah, it's the bloodless talking, and I just have him go, uh, gentlemen, is there? Uh, any way that we could uh, have some negotiations about this whole situation? Who are you talking to? The people that he's like trying to. Or am I am I misreading the situation? Yeah, no, or, no you're no, just no, kind of no, yeah, yeah. observing them from afar, and then Ulf oh, is just pointing yeah. out to you. No. These are the people who are messing with the scuffleners here. And, oh, okay. Yeah. And I just go like, oh, okay, if there's a. Uh, Maybe another way that we can handle this that's a little less hands on. What are you suggesting? I maybe and okay, could I could I say that like we brought some of the like uh an an excess amount, maybe like uh some that is not safe to consume in one sitting of our uh product? And figure out a way to bait them into like Drug to them. drinking it, and oh man, like so that they like get all like fucked up from it, so that we can just like I don't uh, know, like like give them tea that's like spiked with like the, <laughs> the well, okay, tea, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah. The shit that we sell, and like give them enough of it to like somehow cleverly like get them to have it, so that. You know, we could we could not just beat the ever-loving shit out of them, maybe? I, I mean, sure, you can have that on you. Um, that's oh, not but the it's problem. a matter of, like, I'm not going to... Oh. The problem is, but like, you think... getting them to drink but... it or consume it somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you think uh, Ulf would also like that? Because then it's like, hey, we got drugs. You like drugs? Here Ulf. you go. We're doing business with them. I was going to say, then it might just lead to him being like, all right now that they're um kind of drunk on this now we can beat them up and i'm like mm, that's not really what i'm looking for though either <laughs> um, i'd say let's look around some more like learn like more of the location and just like see what else happens i don't know that looking at the location is gonna help us as much as maybe trailing them Because if, well, not... if we just mosey around and are like, all right, what's going on here? And look around everywhere else, then we could just lose track of them. And it would be like, well. Well, are we, uh, we going to be watching them? Because this is just one part of a bigger group, right? Yeah, it's not just these two. They're, they're, yeah. they're just the they're collectors this hooks. time around. <laughs> yeah, they're just members of the Bill Hooks. They're, they're not necessarily Bill Hooks. Oh, okay. Unless you want to fight the Bill Hooks. 
No. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 no we that do comes know next that. week where we get to kill the ones that are thrown out. <laughs> AKA that son of a bitch. But we do know that these are bill hooks, right? Mm, doesn't have to be, no. It could just be a or gang that here. is able to, to, to run a protection racket. Oh, and they're also doing what we're doing and paying the bill hooks. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Ulf. Yo. Are they bill hooks or are they someone different? No, they're they're not bill hooks. You don't want to uh, directly mess with the bill hooks, not yet. Well, then who the who do who do they work for? I um, have so. no idea. I only the know that wildlife. they terrorize this neighborhood, and I'm not happy about it. Gotcha. Call them the cod swaddlers. Cod swaddlers, yes. <laughs> All right, they are the. They call themselves the cod swaddlers. <laughs> yes, let's go. The, the Second dumb name that I've given. <laughs> Did you just? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just sitting here enjoying saying the word cod swaddler. <laughs> that just that sounds like a dish that I would get at. Um... I don't know, like a, like a fucking seafood place. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds to me, it <laughs> sounds like a British dish. <laughs> we go on cod swaddlers. No, I think that's like, I think that is more like an insult. Oh, God. When I first hear, like, you cod swaddler. Now that I think about it, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> the, the, well, uh, okay. It's just like cod like a fish and swaddler like uh, you swaddle a baby. Yeah. Like you wrap up in a blanket. So they eat they're fish, fish and chips, they're maybe? Fish party, like, yeah. No, they're fish wrappers. They're yeah, fish the fish wrappers. wrappers. Yeah. So you fucking fish wrappers. The, the, the fish oh, and the chips fish people. The they're, yeah, but they're, they're the docks then. They're definitely the docks. Oh, man. But yeah, so Ulf well, does tell you he, he kind of knows where they are stationed. Right, so he, I mean, obviously he's done some legwork because he has been wanting to deal with them, but then found out that he's not strong enough on his own and kind of just, yeah, just yeah. running up against them himself doesn't, won't do anything. Yeah, um, I don't know who uh, the Cotswugglers work for, or are they just like doing their own thing? He has no idea. Gotcha. They probably work for someone else because everyone works for someone else. There's always a top dog. But he doesn't know. It just depends on how big that top dog is because we could probably kick their teeth in right now. <laughs> but that could also be hanging ourselves in the process. Yeah. Uh, what tier would, would the Cogswagglers be, what do you think? You would have to try and find that out. Gotcha, okay. I would probably say, throwing my, my two gold, um, I'd say just, like, back off and see if we can probably get some information on them. So, like, uh, yeah, find out more about them. Yeah, so we were like, okay, we know for, her, for this group, we know, that we, we know they either work for this group, are they, in, are, they're actually a new group, and just try and like, okay, we could attack them. Yeah, you could. Yeah. That's... I think having all on our side to at least help us out would be would be amazing. It would be an amazing help. Um. So, tier level is kind of tied to how big a gang is. Yeah. Right. Um. Not only, but it is. Like the the size of the gang does play a big factor. 
So tier zero would be like one or two people. Yeah. Tier one is what you are, so three to six people, and then like twelve people or so would be tier two, and then it just goes yeah. up more and more and more. Yeah, and that's then, what I, that's what I figured. So I just want to know, like, did we know the tier? Not yet. You yeah. would have to yeah, gather gotcha. some information on that, which you well, can do. I think I'd probably say exactly. Yeah, I'd probably say they might be uh tier one or tier two because they probably have a little bit more people it's likely but if you want you can make a um do some sort of action and make a roll in order to gather information uh silas what do you think do you want to try and get some information or do you want to just kind of like go in now and be like yo stop Uh, I'm debating. Uh, go ask Jimmy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey Jimmy. <laughs> runs back to the shop real fast. Yeah, runs back, runs back again. I mean, we're talking about doing this as an actual job, right? Yeah. So, like, at this point, Jimmy would be part of the conversation. But Jimmy isn't there because we're still at, like, the street corner trying to talk, right? Um, you can be, or you can, like, have, like, go back to the shop. I mean, you, um, the actual whatever you want to do with the, the Cotswattlers is the score, but you can choose to gather a bit of info before then. And I would say let uh, let uh, John and Silas like try and get information. Go back, relay to Jimmy, and then be like, "Okay, how how are we gonna approach this?" So yeah. uh, the question is, oh, we're trying to figure out how strong they are. Strong? Who they work for? Are they connected to anyone else? Pretty much, yeah. Did Ulfa uh, tell you the days they make collections? Uh, yeah, he he would have that info, or the shopkeeps can tell you that info as well. You know they they know Ulf as an ally, and if yeah. you know if you work for, with Ulf, you're you're also a friend, etc. Well, uh, you you guys, you know, don't. Don't don't worry about this. I'll be uh I'll be back in a couple of days. Alright. Yeah, right. Uh Jimmy's gonna go stake out one of the uh he's not gonna stake out. He's just gonna sit in one of the uh one of the local restaurants waiting for one of these uh collections to happen. Okay. Um <coughs> and then after the collection, they come for the collections. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's two of them again? Yeah. Uh, he's just gonna follow them until they separate, and then he's gonna pick one. Um, and then... Uh, Alright. They, they don't actually separate. They stay together the entire time? Yeah. Mm. They just hit a couple of stores, the and then, um make their way uh, out of the neighborhood after they've hit a couple of stores. Oops. I I might have missed a detail. This is the the score for today, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I was just making sure. Yeah, it sounds like you that that's what you guys want to do today. Like, help Ulf deal with these people. These sons of bitches. Yeah. Well... I mean, can I can Jimmy just keep following them as they leave? Uh, yes. Wherever they're going. Uh, you can. Um, okay. That would be a roll, however. Hmm. Yeah. All right. What am I rolling? Uh, let's see. Either prowl or hunt. I'm guessing. Uh, I'd say this would be hunt. I mean, I don't have a score in either of them. Yeah. But let's go, Jimmy. Trying to do this. Yeah, solid. true. You you track a target. Yeah. So hunt. <laughs> uh, position controlled. 
Or fortune roll? Um, actually, it would be interesting if if something could happen here, right? So it is controlled because you are directing the pace, right? You can kind of stay as far back mm -hmm. as you need to, etc. Um, and just standard, standard effect, let's say. Oof. Hey, I find out where they're going at least. Uh, actually, no, you don't because you rolled a three. Shit. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> um. Come on, Babu. Just make it land on a better number. <laughs> <laughs> so. Come on, Babu. Be like John and get a six. So, but this is controlled, right? So you are starting to to leave the familiar area of Crow's, Crowsfoot and and mm -hmm. going into like streets you're not too familiar with and you're at risk of losing them so mm -hmm. what you can do is you can kind of stick closer to them risk discovery so it becomes a risky role if you want to oh. press this oh i'm pressing this okay jimmy's jimmy's doing jimmy's on a roll okay he uh he needs this Ooh. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's a four. That means it's a success. Hey! So, let's go, let's go, let's But go. what do I lose? Yeah, exactly. Consequence, correct? <laughs> yeah, and a consequence, exactly. Yeah. So the success is, yeah, you find out where they're going. You manage not to lose them. Um, and you find out where they are holed up. Uh, it's, it's basically a back door of a bar... Uh, right, they they knock, and then one of those little slidey windows in the door opens, looks out. Ah, okay, <laughs> closes again, and they. It seems to go into a basement, um, or so. That's what you can tell. Um, but I would say that. Huh. What would be a good consequence? An obvious consequence is that they that they saw they you. Yeah. yeah. But that's not just... an interesting consequence. <laughs> oh boy. Um Do you guys have any idea for, for an interesting consequence? Mm. It depends on how good Bebu how good jo Jimmy's coffee was this morning. <laughs> Both. I uh, I'm down for anything happening to Jimmy. <laughs> I mean, you said the coffee thing. It might I be mean, it could just, just like, it could very well just be <laughs> that, like, as soon as Jimmy realizes where they're going, he's like, "All right, cool, I can take care of this," and just starts attacking the person at the door. Oh no! Because um, he's vicious. <laughs> uh. That would kind of jump the gun on the score, and that's... Mm, yeah. Uh... Hmm. Now let's go with the obvious one. I can't think of anything good. So, yeah, they, they do make you. Um, They're not 100% sure. But they do kind of realize, oh, we've been followed. Something's not quite right. Okay, how's that manifest for me? So, uh, you still manage to to follow them mm. and, and find out where they are, but now they know that someone is planning something or is onto them somehow. Mm. Right? While I'm there, do any of them get out? Just, just take, leave the building at all. Uh. Hmm. Not through the, uh, the back entrance where they went into. 
Because the goal was uh, Jimmy was going to find one of these people and beat the ever living shit out of them until they told him everything. <laughs> and then uh, throw them in the river. <laughs> okay. Oh, Oof. Uh, um. Yeah, okay, then I would say that's the consequence because they they made mm. you. They're more careful now and don't kind of kind of keep keep it on the down low for the rest of the day. You can resist the consequence if you want. And that's one stress? No, that's rolling... Uh, what is prowess? I would say prowess because it is a physical task. Um, All right, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, okay, Ooh. so you take two stress. For that. Okay. Um, and they don't find out that they're being followed. Right. Okay. <clears throat> then I guess I'll leave it at that, because if I go for anything else, I'll just fuck it up more. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and Joe, thanks for those redeems. I figured we needed those. Yeah, hydrate and stretch. Ah. <sighs> mm. uh. All right. Do any of the other ones want to do any information gathering? Uh, um, oh, I figured that will give us their uh, ranking, their tier. Mm. Oh, okay. okay so that's what so that's what you were after. That was the goal. Yeah, the okay. goal was to figure out their tier. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. So as you're there observing them. Uh, you do count uh, four or so pairs of people who, who walk into there. Um, mm. Along with whoever else was already inside that you don't know about. So like eight okay. people went in. Which means they're probably somewhere around tier two. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, guys, don't expect me to push myself uh, at all for the rest of the thing. I've now ended up at uh, six stress. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. For the glory of Scotland. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm going to be real. I'm pretty sure mine's been at seven since the last session. Oof. Well, the good thing I only have three. Let's go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got news for you, Joe. You gotta have John carry the <laughs> the pushing for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I could have swore I took some of that off for some other shit that I did in downtime action last time, and I didn't save, but I guess not. <laughs> oh shit. Oh my God! I already have what trauma? What's two more? <laughs> well, I guess I have none currently. So yeah. All right. Like you don't have to do any more information gathering. You can also just go straight into uh, planning the score. Uh, let's see, real fast. Is there a way? Uh, let's see, uh, Silas. Do you think it'd be a good idea to like try and walk around and see if we can ask uh, some of the locals if they've heard any rumors on who? is the top dog for the cod swagglers uh yeah if we go about it like we're not a bunch of fucking nitwits yeah and, uh, yeah give exactly. away that we're looking for the leader of a gang then yes <laughs> yeah yeah like if we can just go in and be like hey new to the area um we want to make sure we don't like mess with anybody so who do we like and i just talk? i i have silas cut him off and go john look me in the eyes he's staring daggers at him he goes, you think telling somebody somewhere we don't frequent that we're new and deliberately asking who we shouldn't fuck with isn't going to tell them 
that we are trying to find exactly that person. <laughs> I mean, no one knows that we are here, and this is not our usual grounds. At, so. And John, will people know that we're here when we walk up to them and ask them questions? Like I said, they might just think we're new to the new around here. I, I mean, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. And, he, <laughs> and like, Silas, like... Like he raises his hand like a little bit, like like maybe a quarter of the way, like forty five degree angle, and he just like clenches his fist. And he's just like, I'm, I'm, "All right, okay, okay. it's <laughs> we'll, we'll give we'll give it a shot." No, no, we're 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 fine. Don't, don't worry, I can take hints. Silence is uh, Silas is now the Nathan Fillion meme. Uh, how uh, how populated <laughs> is like the area around their uh? clubhouse uh i mean considering they're running a bar and Crow crow's foot in general is pretty uh high density right it it is a lot of um uh, small dense streets there that's that's the word i was looking for right so it's not big promenades or anything like that it's a lot of people all around um so yeah, it's quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of stuff going on around their uh, around their bar. So there's gonna be a lot of people in there that aren't part of these dumbasses. Most likely, yeah. Damn. That means we're not using demolition tools. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, well, you can. I was gonna say. Jimmy's got. All right, all right, guys. So I got a little bit of an idea. <laughs> Now, tell me, tell me if I'm taking this a bit too far. All right. Let's say we get one of these pieces of shit. And we, uh, we, uh, maybe, uh, give them a little package. You know, just a little, uh, gift from us. Maybe a little taste of the product. Right? Okay. Right? You know we're, what I'm talking we're, about? We're all, we're all at the same spot now. Yeah, we're, like, convening. Yeah, I, I would suppose. Okay. Yeah, and, and then he, he just goes, uh, uh, taste meaning. I don't know. We give him some fucking sample of some shit. Drugs, drugs. We deal drugs. <laughs> Do you understand that? what I'm okay. saying? Yeah. All right. All right. We give him the drugs, and then maybe we give him a little something extra. Give him something with a little bit of extra zip. Maybe. A little bit of that. He walks into his clubhouse. <laughs> and then that zip just happens to zap. <laughs> and then no more clubhouse. Bit of that boom Well, at least a lot less clubhouse. <laughs> boom Oh my god. Oh. And he just... just have Silas... <laughs> Um, okay, I I catch your drift, Jimmy. I mean, that's Ex yeah, that's an option. Explosive John? sampler. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. John, you've always said we got the bomb ass product. <laughs> yes, we do. And as someone who was experienced it, yes. What? Come on! I'm waiting. <laughs> he said, but I'm waiting. Come on. <laughs> Tell me where this isn't a great idea. Okay. You know what? I, I won't, I'll take you guys. You guys do what you're going to do. Jimmy got this. All right. <laughs> The, the question is, where are you going to get a bomb from, though? Uh, I don't know, because it's part of our load. Demolition tools. Is it? 
Yeah, demolition tools. It's part of the cutter's uh uh kit. I can have up to two load of demolition tools. Oh wow, whisper can too. Uh but all because we have it doesn't mean that oh. we could make a bomb. Oh, but if you look right. at it, it's a sledgehammer, it. iron fuck. spikes, heavy drill, crowbar, God it's damn not it. explosives. I hate Bruh. that. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Brave. I'm pretty sure don't we have to do like the downtime stuff to get a special thing for Yeah, if you want a, a bomb that can blow up a good part of, yeah, we have of to a clubhouse, you would have to actually downtime. Yeah. You would actually have to source it somehow. Uh, unless we decide to like take some sledgehammers and destroy the building, gonna happen. Now, now hear me out. We make drugs. Drugs are often very unstable. Uh, best example: meth labs. They explode all the time, <laughs> just due to a basic misunderstanding of the chemistry. Uh, even if you just have the chemicals in large like quantities that are improperly stored, um, like methanol, uh, highly explosive. Let's say Jimmy has tinkering tools. <laughs> and Jimmy has drugs. And Jimmy has a lantern. Uh... I'd say it's continue. tinkering. Get get in you. I mean, yeah, you can. Can Jimmy like tinker with the drugs and kind of find out? Okay, what do I have to do? What do I have to add to make thing maybe go boom? I'm not looking for. I'm not looking for C4. Yeah, I'm looking for like. Um. The equivalent of a handheld uh, musket shot. Right. Very crude, just shrapnel. You can also try if it's like flammable too. Uh, but I am under. I understand if it's not not allowable or feasible within the time. Um, I mean, you could. Do something like just take a whole bunch of bullets and empty the powder in them uh, into some some makeshift IED kind of deal. Um, especially since you do have your chemists, your your group of chemists who could help chemists. with that. Um, The tinkering tools are not actually like they're they're things like mechanist work, yeah. right? <laughs> Again, yeah. and your your uh, your lair does not have a workshop, which would help with alchemy, etc. Um, so it would be very unsafe to make. But I would say. Possible, so possible, but very, very risky, and it might go wrong horribly. And it probably would require a roll. All right, well, yeah. cool. Jimmy not doing boom boom this time. Sorry, gang. <laughs> yeah, let's avoid the explosives. Good thing I said but. <laughs> uh, and this bar, this bar is like, is it a, a part of like a row of houses, or does it have like? space in between it and the buildings next to it um it's it's like a a block of houses that makes sense it's a standalone kind of building like, yeah it's kind of like one building with four smaller buildings inside of it kind of yeah kind of like that yeah we have no space we have no space between like our shop and margaret's yeah for example yeah okay and not everywhere is <sighs> Damn, I can't set it on fire either. <laughs> this is making this real hard for going for easy solution. I mean, you could set it on fire. What's the danger of throwing <laughs> ectoplasm at people? Uh, yeah, but well, we're happy. Because, like, I just looked at Arcane Implements and it's a spirit bottle, a vial of ectoplasm designed to break and splatter on impact. 
Is it just like ghost goo? Is it gonna summon a bunch of ghosts? No, it's okay, not gonna summon. For, like, that's but that's actually a very good question. What exactly that because does? Because I can add active plasm vials with me. Uh, let me check what it does. Um, I want to believe it's kind of like the pipe bomb from Leopard Dead Two. So it seems like electroplasm is a kind of fuel. It's not, it's, so it, it doesn't summon ghosts or anything. It's just, if a ghost appears, it uses electroplasm to, to have a physical f form in the physical world, right? Um, so it's, it's oh. like a building material for them. But oh, at the God. same time, uh, electroplasm is distilled ghost essence, and the uh, the lightning towers all around the city are powered by electroplasm. So you're telling me that if John so happened to have ectoplasm, and let's say the favor of a demon, um, <laughs> John could throw a shit ton of ectoplasm and just give demon a physical form for a while? Um, oh my or is that God. not? Or I'm not saying we should do this. I'm just or, like thinking of the possibilities. Or is it kind of like a? Does do we know that the lightning kind of like goes towards the ectoplasm? Uh, no. I, it's it's probably more like if you splash it all around. Um you might make ghosts that are already there partially physical so you can interact with them. Uh, Chichen, question. Yeah. Uh, not that I want to go back to it, but I was reading over my sheet. Would my uh, role to figure out the threat of those guys count as uh, gathering info to anticipate possible threats in the current situation or no? <sighs> Uh, I would say so, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, I just want to know for future use, because I definitely have that skill, and I just did not think about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Or, hold on, let me let me see what exactly it says. Also, Unborn, thank you for those redeems. Another hydrate and stretch. Based Unborn, based Unborn. Okay. Uh. Unborn. Um, where does it say? Uh, bodyguard. Bodyguard. Yeah. It says when you, you gather info to anticipate in the current situation, you get plus one effect. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would say. Sure, if it because it is like uh limited enough that it has to be about like threats in the current situation. You can't just okay. randomly gather info and get um Yeah. Yeah, get that. Plus bonus. one if I'm like I punched this guy. Now give me the info about his cousin. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So electroplasm, actually, you can try to use that as uh, not an explosive, but as something that causes not good things. Some sort of chaos. Let's see if the, uh, if the research that John has done, is there a possibility to to know about like okay don't mix uh electroplasm with this or uh i would if, think if, so if yeah I cover, if i cover this if i throw something at a human what would it do to them all right if you because i'm thinking like electroshocks yeah it would stun them oh it's kind of like tasing them in a way yeah oh and plus, it's it's a uh, vials. That's glass, correct? Yeah. 
Yeah. They get cuts. They get. I wonder what happens if you get electroplasm in your bloodstream. Uh. Not yeah. Not nothing great. Ooh. <laughs> I like where this is going. Continue. Question. Yeah. So uh, let's say we combine that with uh, Rage Essence. Right, Rage Essence? Rage Essence. It's uh, something I have a vial of, and I Googled it just to see what the hell it does. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, a single dose which greatly enhances the user's strength, resistance to pain, and irrational aggression for the span of several minutes. What if we just fucking drug all these guys and make them mad at each other and kill <laughs> each other? Um. I mean, you can try to combine those things and see what happens. You know? I would. Alchemy man. <laughs> I Fuck would. Fuck it, let's just kill him. Uh. <laughs> I I, I'm I'm done trying to be trying to be fucking sneaky beaky. I'm just gonna go in there and beat the shit out of these people. <laughs> what are we doing, gang? You I mean, guys, yeah, you guys at decide. This point, I yeah. Like, like, yeah, honestly, the same is like. I mean, sure, you can try doing stuff like that, and I, I would make it, um, or I would wait for whatever rolls happen to see what kind of an effect that has. Rather than say, oh yeah, this is definitely gonna knock out half of them or, or something like that. Yeah. Um So you you're free to try and jury rig something. But here's the thing. You can use flashbacks. Right? Don't forget that flashbacks are a thing. Oh yeah. So you don't have to plan all of these things now. I keep forgetting that as well. <laughs> you don't have to go through all of these things now. You can just say, yo, we kick in the door or yo, we go into the bar or whatever, right? Start the score. And then when the situation arises, you can say, actually, I prepared a rage bomb. Actually, before we do that, well, before we do that I have something. So Chichen. Yo. Say this is a a bar, correct? Yeah. Um, I am sending something in the group chat, and I want you to see. Um, and I kind of want to know if this is a possibility because I found something. Could we try and put some electroplasm in like someone's drink? Uh, you can, um, but that's likely going to make the drink explode. Or make them explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. One of two things. <laughs> I... Something's going to explode. It's going to be fantastic. All right, all right, boys. So uh, here's, the, here's the way I see we should do it. Uh, I'm going to go and I'm going to start hitting people with uh, the block. Now, either one, you two can come through with me and uh, off through the back door, or you can uh, be all sneaky beaky in the front and uh, surprise him uh, when I bring the justice. I think uh, go with the second one on that one. Yep, let's plan for the second one. Let's do it. John, you got anything I should know about with ghosts? They are spooky. And John, scary. I do not want to know what I just asked you. I take that back. It'd be better <laughs> if I know nothing. Uh, you know the word rhetoric and how there's a question related to the word rhetoric, a rhetorical question? He asked you that. He didn't want you to answer. <laughs> oh, well, he got it. And I don't care. Stylus, Stylus, <laughs> this is something you need to learn. Just because you're right doesn't mean you're not an asshole. <laughs> oh, I never claimed to be anything but an asshole. <laughs> Oh, All right, man. let's fucking go. <laughs> All right. So heavy load. Okay. Heavy load. Oh, heavy shit. load. Um. All right. So what type of uh... show of force? Uh, show of force. This is a show of force. <laughs> show of force. Oh, I'll do a heavy load. Attacking well. them. Where, where is, where is my engagement thingy? 
Score, roll, where, where was it? Is it? Oh, it's on the character sheet, not on the crew sheet. I, I, I also do have reason. the unfortunate actual time limit of like what the normal like three hour cutoff is because I have to go to like get food. Oh, so I'm not even several hours. OK, gotcha. uh, so yeah, assault. This this is an assault. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Point of attack. Where is your point of attack? I need to remember uh, well, that flashbacks are a thing. Back is it the play? Well, yeah, I was going to say, because yeah. that's where it starts. Yeah, because yeah. we're having Jimmy back door. Smart, All right. And then we're, we're converging on. The OK, so let's rush through this um, very, very quickly. Engagement role. Where is my engagement role? Engagement rolls. I think the on. adrenaline of having to make the decisions quickly on the fly is going to add to this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is this bold or daring? Yes, it is. Is this yes. Operation I'm Overly Complex? Say, oh, yeah, I'm going to no. say yes. Yeah, it is. Uh, does it expose a vulnerability? No, you're attacking them in their home base. So that's another minus one. Is friends or contacts helping? Yeah, you have Ulf. Ulf. Um, oh, enemies yeah. arrivals? None yet. Any other elements? Yeah, they're a higher tier than you. So... Um, that's mine. Well, that comes out to a grand total of one die for engagement. All right, let's let's just rush through this a little bit. <laughs> we spent a lot of time just like discussing things we didn't need to discuss Get because I'm the game. I'm sorry. No, nah, it's okay. I forget that as well. This game is, it's it's like a bit if, of if, thinking differently. Yeah, if you don't, like, it's hard to like if we don't focus on it the right yeah. way. It can be very meandering. Yeah. This is not Shadowrun, this is Blades in the Dark. Okay. Um, four. So that is risky. Uh, you are in a risky position, which probably means you uh, kick in the door, right? You go dun 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 dun, dun boom, and then the door is uh, off the hinges, or maybe Ulf helps you with that. And um, you have the guard standing there, uh, right inside the door. All right, mm -hmm. and because it's a narrow staircase, you can't all gang up on him, which makes this risky. By the way, the other two, what kind of load do you have? Light, uh, normal, heavy. I said heavy, but I'm reconsidering now. Um, you aren't normal. you guys coming normal? in from the front? We're coming in from the front. Like actually being in the bar. Well, I yeah. thought we were just doing this all together now. No. Mm -mm. He said when he was talking to us earlier. He said, "What are you two gonna do?" And I was like, "I had Silas say we're gonna go uh, through the front." While well, you guys go through, yeah, so it's, I mean, and then what Ulf is doing is kind of up in the air right now. He's Ulf is coming with me. Yeah, he's he with is Jimmy. going with you. Okay, yeah. then we're split two and two. Glory back, doors, back door is the meatheads. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the meatheads. And... <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You're not. All right. Uh, Chichen. Yo. If I have armor, do I have to have the two? We're going to have one. Uh, You must fill all the connected squares. Okay, I want to make sure on that. Thank you. Yeah. All right. And um, remember, uh, you don't mark anything until you use it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I the only thing you sure. have to I choose is what sure. kind of load you have. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think I think John's kind of tired of being beaten up. <laughs> All right, I'll do normal fair. load. Normal load. Okay, John, normal what do you have? Load, yeah. Normal. All right. Normal. Yeah. Cool. So um, yeah. I kicked in the door. There's a guy in front of me. Yep. Uh, I'm still Jimmy from the block. Okay. Uh, I crack him in the head with the with the block. Uh and then when he's like grabbing his face, I'm gonna take my manacles and chains, put one of the manacles on my wrist, put the other one around his neck, and uh hold him in front of me. Oh, okay. Um rush in the hallway. Okay. Uh so yeah, you do manage to uh get that done. Um, but in the in the same time, he does because he rolled a five, right? He does mm -hmm. manage to uh, get a cut in with his knife. Um, do you want to resist that somehow? Do you want to have armor going? Do you have a special armor? No, not yet. Uh, you can. Um, yeah, I'll just use. I got armor. Okay. So mark the use for your armor. Uh, so yeah, the knife just scrapes along, uh, I don't know, your, your leather harness. 
And then, uh... Yeah. Doesn't damage you. Um, but it does damage the armor enough that you can't use it anymore. And then... Yeah, you now have him in front of you. Uh, cool, and we're in a staircase, right? Yeah. Leading down lead to up, the floor below. Down. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Yeah, cool. I'm just gonna kick his legs out in front of him and uh hold my hand strong to keep his uh keep him choking and going down the hall the staircase mm -hmm. and uh just run all the way to the bottom i'm assuming ulf is coming behind me jumping over the banister as soon as he can yeah all right what do the other two do do you want to join up somehow what are you doing in the bar um Okay, yeah, so I would say I, there's not... Uh, oh, my bad, you go. I was going to say, yeah, I'd say, like, let's wait until we can hear, like, them start attacking. Well, I'd say we should start inside the bar already, like, in the normal place, so it's not, like, as inconspicuously as possible. Um, so you want, like, the... The thing is... Or are they, like, swarming the place already? No, the thing is, um, the clubhouse is in the basement. The back door leads down into the basement where oh, they are we wouldn't be able to hear that yeah okay gotcha, gotcha and it's the back door so while you're in the bar the bar is noisy right so uh listening yeah. for fights coming oh, out of the basement in the noisy bar yeah the same sound but i mean you do know that jimmy and ulf are just gonna charge in or breaking in right yeah. so you do know that they are active Yeah, I'd say let's have them. I have us. Um, well, I'll have Silas at least be like in the bar already, just having a drink, like just like a, maybe a glass of water, half a like real light drink or something. Okay. Um, and then have him um, maybe go down. Do I know the layout of the bar? Like how how it's? Uh, we already know how it's laid out. Like it's a or no? Or we'd have to go walk around to figure it out ourselves. I mean not not the back rooms and such but you can kind of tell oh this is the door to the kitchen uh this is the door to i don't know like an office or so and the kitchen's uh, in use currently like they're doing food and drink or it's just yeah. the bar that's open okay mm. I'll just have Silas do... start walking towards the back doors okay like back behind like maybe where like where the restrooms are and try to like stealth like without attracting the attention of the kitchen all right. What what are you trying to accomplish? Just uh, to converge and meet up with um, Wolf and uh, Jimmy. All right. So you want to find the stairs down to the basement and uh... yeah. Okay. Um. What about John? What do you want to do? Because so now we're not going from behind. We're gonna. It was uh. I was gonna just like go into the bar, hang out for a little bit, and then. Once the chaos ensues, sneaks away, correct? Um, sneak into the basement from the bar side, I guess is is the plan, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So are you? So it's it's inside the bar, correct? I mean, it's. It's Where's... the basement of the bar, so there's the back door that leads down, and there's probably a staircase in somewhere yeah, there yeah. that also leads down. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So do you guys want uh, to head down? And yeah, I'd, I'd be with uh, Silas then. Okay. And then head towards, heading towards with them. All right. So I would call that a uh, prowl roll to uh, make your way down there. Quickly, efficiently, but also inconspicuously. Yeah. Uh, risky. Hold on, hold on. Before we okay. do this, because you're both doing this, this is a group roll. I don't <laughs> think we've done these before. So how a group roll works is um, one of you is the leader of this action, and uh, hold yeah, on. Uh, but you all roll, right? Um, Ooh, okay. And I think you only need a single person to succeed. Oh, I'm, oh yeah, 
However, if anyone but the leader fails, the leader gets one stress for every failure. <laughs> yeah, Silas, yeah, you're the leader. So yeah, leader. you still wanna you still wanna lead this? Yeah. Yes. Really? I think yes. that's group okay. group action. Let me just make sure I got that right. Why is that not where I thought it was? Group action ninety-seven. This is not what I want. Leading a group action 134. Oh my goodness, this book is chaotic. Um, yeah, every PC who is involved, and the team counts the single best result overall. Yeah. So both make a prowl roll, please. And okay. if John fails the roll, then um, Silas gets the stress. Yeah. All right. So and risky. Uh, yeah. It's risky. Wait, so I'm rolling or I wait for the... We're both, the we're, we're you're all, you're rolling. both rolling. Oh, yeah, hit. Yeah. Same type of thing? Yeah. Uh, you know. Prowl. Stand, standard. Yeah, risky standard. Risky standard. Said, and no dice. No bonus no, dice. Prowl, risky, standard. Okay. Unless you want to push yourself. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> you sure? Ooh. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I will. Oh, shit. It's one stress, yeah? Wait, wait, what? I mean, at this point, I think you have to resist, don't you? Wait, I already rolled. Uh, yeah. This is, this oh, is very... Okay. Wait, did you guys have two die? Two? Do you have two in Prowl? Yes, two in Prowl. I do. Oh, yeah. okay. Do. Um. So, yeah, overall, you got a four, which means you succeed. Oh, right, yeah. Wait, do I get okay, now I see. Not? Okay. Right? So Belly. it's like gotcha. you all pool your dice... Oh, thank fuck. ...and take the oh, highest gosh. single roll. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's go. So you do make it. You do find uh, the stairs and kind of slip down. Uh, but there is a consequence. And the consequence is that one of the uh, gang members who is also in the bar, or like just kind of watching out, does catch you at the last second and um, f starts following up behind you. As you make your way down into the basement. Like, not chasing after you, but kind of, like, checking out, like, oh, what's what's going on here? Why are they, why are these people going into the basement? What's up? So if you want to resist that, you can. How to resist the consequence? How much stress does that do? Uh, that depends on your role. So resist would be a prowess. Um... Yeah, I'm going to try to resist it. Okay. You said prowess? Yeah. Just normal, okay. Oh, Ooh. very nice. You get zero yeah, stress. Yeah, baby, let's go. Uh, so, he doesn't see you. You do manage to use the um, liveliness of the bar to uh, slip past everyone unseen and make your way down to the basement. Is, six a, is that a crit? It says when you roll a critical on resistance, clear one. Uh, crit is two sixes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Can I roll again? No. <laughs> no, don't don't <laughs> let me do that. It's please. impossible to get a crit on only one die. So. Please, God. Don't let me do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So at this point, uh, you come down the basement, uh, to the basement, uh, into a room. You see a bunch of people sitting at a table, playing cards. And at the same time, uh, from another entrance, you see uh, a dude with manacles around his neck being pushed in by a grimy-looking Jimmy. My <laughs> dad, the grimy part. Hell oh, yeah. That's funny. You said how many people are playing cards at this table? And how Three. many cards am I about to slap out of their hand? All right. Um, Actually, let me make a die slapped. roll for that. Wait, are we... Okay, I forgot. Are we... Yeah. We're just beating them up, right? Or are we trying to kill these guys? Okay. Beat them up. <laughs> we, don't want, we don't want death. No death <laughs> because of ghosts? Okay. All right. I mean... De no, Jimmy's got <laughs> manacles around this man's neck. Here's, here's the thing, right? Hello? If if you kill someone, it's not like the the 
Um, it's not like anybody's going to hear. The bar is so fucking... The awesome. crematorium people yeah. aren't going to show up right away. They're not like ambulances, right? It's going to take them a while. But it's like it's like when you hear the sirens. But... You should probably head out there because they're, gonna, they're on their way. We also get a lot of heat from like one death, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. Though. And ghosts yeah, take probably... a couple of days to, to get free from a corpse. Right, so it's right. not like you uh, kill someone and instantly all hell breaks loose. I'm gonna have yeah. Silas right. charge one of the guys at the table and try to sucker punch him in the mouth. Okay. So that is a skirmish roll. Oh, good thing I have nothing in that. <laughs> <laughs> what you right, can do it. is you can do some teamwork. Teamwork! Yeah, you want some teamwork? Oh, yeah, actually, uh, I, yeah. I look. Actually, you know what? Never mind the card guy. I'm gonna look over at Jimmy and go, hey, Jimmy, batter up. And <laughs> I'm like trying to throw the guy with the mask like into my fist. Uh, the guy with the manacle around his neck is already is disabled. He just... Oh, he's done. Okay. Yeah. Uh, shit. I mean, for uh, now. The guy with the cards, am I close to him? Yeah, the room is not yeah, we'll huge, say... right? Oh, it's... I, uh, yeah, uh, no, I'll ask, I ask over at Jimmy, I go. Hey, you got a you got a good use for that guy's skull. Uh, and then uh, I want to uh take that guy, grab the uh, the chain. Yeah. Uh, and I want to swing him at the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo. Um. Okay. This will kill him. Okay. Uh, it's still around your wrist though, the manacle. Oh, I know, but he's grabbing the chain that the manacle is attached to. Yeah, okay. I'm not taking it and, like, swinging it down. I'm, like, fucking swinging across. Okay. I'm trying to kick these guys with this guy's feet. Oh, okay. Like, swipe the chair out from under him, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll respond in kind once I know what happens with that and try to, like, assist. So that... That actually sounds like a wreck roll more than a skirmish roll. Oh shit! Right. <laughs> That's fine. Right from Jimmy. Does does one of the others want to help Jimmy? Uh, yeah, I can do that. Right. So to give Jimmy an extra die. Yeah. Is that one stress? Yep. All right. All right. All right. Let's do uh, that bonus. Risky. Though. Risky. I would say Damn. limited effect. Shit. Damn. Because yeah, you, know. you know it's We're being a little cheeky. What if what if I pop my rage rage essence? Ooh. Actually, I pop the, rage the entire point of Jimmy being here is to kill these people. All right. Um. Jimmy is like purposefully murdering these people. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah. Then that would. Put it up to, uh, you know what? I'll give you that devil's bargain with the rage essence. Oh. Right? So you pop the rage spicy. essence, you can get uh -huh. an extra die out of it. Uh -huh. um, but then afterwards, you are enraged. You, uh, you will just punch and murder whoever is there oh shit how many of them are there compared to us three there's three people right now plus the one you have manacles so it's manacles. four, and four. Yeah. yeah and then how long roughly would i stay enraged for a couple minutes a couple minutes yeah i think they could last a couple minutes i think you guys could get away in a couple of minutes uh standard <laughs> yeah. effect uh we'll be fine yeah let's let's go standard <laughs> effect then Okay, and then one bonus um, die. No, two to bonus die because yeah. Silas helped, right? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what? what kind of a roll? Oh, my goodness. You're kidding me. <laughs> oh. By the skin of my dick. <laughs> oh. Wow. Let's go. That scared me. All right, so I you... Two, and I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, you managed to uh, completely take him by surprise with that and swipe, uh, I don't know, like wreck the chairs and they're now all tumbling over the table and um, in disarray. Mm -hmm. um, 
But I would say, yeah, the the dude you swung around is is oh, dead. Yeah. Yeah, that was the all right. That was a big crack uh, on his neck. Oh yeah. Or and crack, not sending a message. Um. I'm trying to think because I mean killing him him dying is not a negative consequence. You were planning on doing that anyway. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So the uh, I would think an actual negative consequence for you would be to take harm. Because you're just recklessly swinging this dude around and um by your wrist. I would I would agree but the rage essence like the description says you take less damage. You take less damage, okay? Um, yeah, like let me let me pull it up so I'm not. Oh, it says resistance to pain. Yeah, it says uh, enhances strength, well, resistance to pain, and irrational aggression. Pain um, isn't damage. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Fuck that um, arm up again. Um, damage. It just doesn't hurt him. So. Or it just doesn't feel bad. Yeah, it doesn't feel as bad. So you can you can still resist it normally. Like as as a role to to resist the consequence, um. But let's let's not let's not reveal what the harm is until after the rage essence has worn off. Okay, that makes sense. So if you want to resist it, you can roll for that. Otherwise, you'll wake up to whatever it is that happened. I still don't have my head about resisting. Resisting is too stress. No, resisting is you roll, and that determines how much stress you take. Oh, how much stress you take. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. I need to do pretty good to not That's get That's why it was stress. pretty uh, goaded that I rolled a six. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been fucked. So, um, if you want to resist, that's a prowess roll. No, nah. nah, I think it's more interesting. Okay. That's fair. I think it's more interesting that Jimmy's going to get hurt. Okay. And I also think it's more interesting that now uh, everybody thought they've seen Jimmy mad. <laughs> but now they see Jimmy mad. They've seen him mad, mad. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, what do the others do? Uh, I'm going to have Silas walk up to one of the dudes flying over the table. Yeah. Uh, and jam his elbow straight into the guy's uh, straight into the guy's face. All right. Um, that sounds like normal skirmish then. Right. Uh, risky still, yeah. Yeah, because the situation is pretty chaotic, and you have an Panther. enraged Jimmy there. So. Yeah. Oof. Uh, wait. You have zero in skirmish. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a that's three. A Fuck. <laughs> oh yeah, um, I thought you would have shot him. Oh. <laughs> it's like I mean, yeah, I you have, have gun. <laughs> the whole thing is gun. <laughs> have you thought about I, using I guess, gun? I guess we're like past the point of return where like you kind of just snap the guy's neck and turn into the whole gear. Yeah. Though to be fair, but, shooting someone in a small room like that would still be skirmish. It wouldn't be hunt. Fuck. Ah, right? oh, oh, damn. Fuck. You're right. Well, oh, okay. Well, yeah. All right. Um,. So, is there anything I can do to like flashback fix that? <laughs> uh, you can't flashback fix this. Okay. Um. Hey John, you got any stress? <laughs> <laughs> so basically, stress. What are you talking about? So basically, you you don't accomplish what you're set out to do. Uh, you try okay. to jam your elbow into his face, but he uh, ducks and instead jams his elbow into your ribs. Fuck. Um. And it knocks the the wind right out of you. God. Oh. Uh, okay. Can John run over and help Silas and like hit the guy? You can try to. I'd say you probably got to pick one or the other. Um. You, you can try to protect Silas, actually. Let's see. So you yeah, can no, like so rush in and push him out of yeah. the way and take the take the elbow instead. Um, 
Could I try, uh, mm -hmm. and this is what I mean by save him, like as in attack the guy. So like the attack uh, stops. No, he's he's wondering if he can like counter it so that he, so that he doesn't get. I bite. get. Like if he does well enough, ass like an assaulting the guy, if it will prevent me from taking any damage. But no. I'm pretty sure the answer is no. No, like this yeah. is happening right now. If yeah, you cannot, you cannot like do your own thing and kind of walk in. It's like, oh, by the way, that elbow that that didn't count here. Let yeah. me slap you. Um, Flashback isn't that meta. Yeah, what you can do is you can try to take the harm for Silas and then resist it for him, right? By like pushing him out of the way uh, in time and and so that the guy elbows you Can instead. Does also have armor? Uh, I think so. It'd be two armor. How badly do you not want to get hurt? Mm. I mean, every guy in her playing times already. Oh, you're talking to me. Yeah. About the armor thing. Um. Yeah, I have a normal load. Where's uh? And you get plus one because of our crew upgrade. Oh, true. Uh, yeah. I'll just put if I put armor on, will I not get hurt? Uh, if you use the armor, yeah. Yeah, I'll use one armor. It's regular armor. Yeah, okay. I'll use it. And you have to mark that you have the armor in your in your items. Yep, I just did. Uh. In the. Oh, in items. Yeah. 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 Uh, one. Uh, hmm? Wait, armor. what? I have to type it in myself. Oh, no, no, wait, no, you already armor. have armor. It's not in your special items. It's, it's... Oh. Yeah, it's in, it's the, it's right next to heavy and unusual weapon. Okay. If you go down the list, a blade or two, throwing knives, a pistol, oh, a stupid. large weapon. Uh, there we go, I found it. Yeah. Sorry. And you need to mark both boxes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. So uh, your armor manages to catch the elbow, and um, it's not as bad as you thought it was. All right. So what does John do? Uh, okay. So I just try and find and look for the nearest body to hit. Okay. Uh, that also sounds like a skirmish roll, then. Okay. Uh, uh, do that good old skirmish. Uh, risky? Yeah. Risky standard? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, I can do two stress to get an extra roll? Extra die, yeah. Two stress for an extra die. Um, I'll do no stress this time. I'll do some it. Okay. Oof. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this uh, is going five, poorly. This is going five, poorly. Uh, <laughs> am I able to take a sh No, it's already rolled. Never mind. Damn. Oh god. Oh. I just realized we really should have been rolling these as group actions cuz I have a lot of skirmish. Oh my god. <laughs> we literally just learned what that was today too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like five minutes before we started doing all this bullshit, <laughs> dude. Oh my god. Jeez. Okay. Um. I what mean, a one isn't any worse than a three, but it's still a a fail. So. I mean, yes, it's still a fail. I'd rather have the three than the one, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, you also don't manage to land a solid hit, and instead, um, the other person pulls out a blackjack. And uh, wax you with it. Do you wish to resist the blackjack blow to the head? Um, what do I do for that? You roll prowess, and then you take stress depending on how well you roll. Okay, I will. I will roll prowess. Unless you want to be unconscious, I'd roll it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean. Is it still two stress for bonus dice? I don't think you can do bonus dice with. No, not on a. No, not on a resist roll. Yeah. I read the book. Gotcha. You can't do it on a resist roll. Gotcha. I'll do some it. Okay, so that's only one stress. Nice. I'll take it. And you do manage to dodge away from the blackjack. 
um, and not get whacked over the head with it. Yeah. Okay. So the situation is pretty chaotic now. Um, and you're making a lot of noise. All right. So there's bound to be other people arriving sooner rather than later. And Jimmy mad. Yeah, and Jimmy mad. Jimmy right, angry. Um, I'm gonna have Silas. Uh, when it says find pair of pistols, yeah, I just I just got like akimbo pistols. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm gonna have this man pull out akimbo pistols and aim at two of these guys that are falling from the table on the floor and aim for both their heads. <laughs> Or chest, either or. Okay. At this point, I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, you can still try and do group actions or do help, etc. Uh, it's still skirmish, yeah. Yeah, it's still skirmish. Uh, yeah, can then I in help that with case, skirmish? Oh, <laughs> you're kind of enraged, though. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. But Jimmy being enraged probably helps them pay attention to Jimmy and not yes. you. Yes. That's fair. Oh, so like maybe having Jimmy. Okay, then I'm gonna have Silas use like Jimmy as a diversion and like aim specifically for the ones that are clearly distracted and freaked out by the raging Hulk man, <laughs> uh, freaking All out, right. snap the guy's neck. Uh, yep. Rescue, uh, standard. All right. So you you want to do this as a group action? Yes. Does and John John help out with that? You can also join know, in. Yeah. Me. Fuck it, we all might right. as well all do it together. Yeah. We all go, we get, we all and, go and I'm assuming Ulf is helping as well. Uh, yeah, I would say that he... Well, that that m maintains the risky position because mm, he's, gotcha. he's an additional person helping out, right? So, so it's not risky, desperate. So risk, risky standard, risky our class. Standard. Standard. Yeah. Uh, and you said skirmish. Who's the leader? I am. Okay. Oh wait, no, 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 <laughs> no, no! I take it back. No, I'm not. Babu is. That was Jimmy. 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 Please. Okay. Yeah, I guess I can be the leader. I didn't know I'd be able to be the leader being enraged. Uh, sure, you, you can. I mean, I'm still leading, beating the shit out of people. So yeah. yeah. You want me to do it? No, I got it. I mean, worst case scenario, I take two stress. I still won't like hit okay. trauma threshold. Okay. How many bonus dice is this? We're Nothing. You just so roll. It's not because we're doing it as a group action. Okay, you so just roll in general. Gotcha. Yeah, you guys just need to not fuck me over. Like, don't oh, fuck gotcha. me over. Please. <laughs> and you said risky? Yeah. Risky standard, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, no. Oh, so okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Right. Marking, oh, okay. One stress. Yeah, nice. you get one. Oh, and I, and I, I marked the pistols as well on my load. Yeah. Uh, You do get... A five, though, um, which is a success. So, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm about to shoot two dudes with pistols at once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking point blank range. Yeah, so a lot of chaotic fighting is going on. Jimmy is whacking people with his block. Silas is shooting people. John, <laughs> what are what are you doing? Are you, like... How how are you I, fighting uh, them? I, I I thought of a weapon. I think it would be very useful for like what we're trying to do. Um, either like a baseball bat or like a pipe. Ooh, okay. Like, I just carried one with me, so like it doesn't necessarily kill someone, but I can if I need to. Pipe or a baseball bat doesn't kill someone if they knock him in the head. I don't know about that one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, They're less lethal like, than gone. They, like, Oh, fair. Yes, exactly. All right. So like, if I can, I can, I can punch. I can like swing Might them take into a little the longer. stomach, and they're not gonna get up, or I can like oh, break yeah. their legs, and like, yeah, they're not moving anytime soon. All right. Fair All right. Enough. And Ulf is hacking at them with a hatchet. Um, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of chaos going on. Um, let me let me put a clock down, for, how they're doing. Uh, how do I do clock again? Here. Uh, token. There we go. So, you rolled a five, which is two. Mm. Ta-da! Nice. Okay, the clock tokens are working. 
which is two sections. So uh, let's go with gang health, right? Enemy gang health. Okay. So they are not doing great. Actually, hold on. Let me add one more because of the actions of last of the last couple of exchanges. Um, but at the same time, the consequence here is that the rest of the gang bursts in from all of the noise of all the shooting oh. and shouting and whacking and Fuck. such. Oh shit. All right. Are we allowed to run from a score if it's getting bad? Uh, yeah. Okay. I don't want to abandon Jimmy while he's raging, though. <laughs> so four more people. Uh, they're, they're busting in from up top of the stairs, right? Uh, from well, two are coming in from the bar stairs, Damn. and two mm -hmm. are coming in from from a okay, third so entrance from deeper into the complex, deeper uh, into the basement. Uh, Can we have a uh, a flashback where uh uh damn do either of you have a load you're willing to spend on yeah. like i guess maybe subterfuge supplies and putting oh, yeah. ball bearings on the stairs yeah i get behind you Ooh. do i have that oh no john said you got it because i i have i have it over here yeah i can do it okay uh so i was gonna I say guess like, i only have i only have my my bat pipe wherever you want to whatever you want it to be oh yeah because i've used armor and um, yeah so yeah i can do it and pistols. okay yeah, sure. Um, so that takes at least put them on the stage on the stairs. Two on their ass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're not going to be as effective right off the bat. They're just going to tumble down the stairs and fall. Yeah, fall directly down. in front of you, Stylus, Ooh. with your guns. And I aim at both of them with my guns. Or so you just that... push them in front of Jimmy. So that means the situation is not desperate. It remains risky. Okay. Even though I'm point blank staring like point guns straight down at their face. Okay. There's more people coming. Yeah, there's, oh, that's right. yeah. It's it's a chaotic yeah. fight it's with chaotic. a lot of yeah, people right. in a small room. <laughs> you're right, I'm just being cheeky. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> um I guess. Mm. Damn. So remember you can you can manipulate the fiction. Right, you don't have to accept, uh, or ra really, we're, we were doing this the wrong way around again because this is a bit different from traditional games. Um, you can try and propose an action, and then we negotiate and see if you can maneuver yourself into a position that allows you to do that action. So, if you want to use hunt, mm. right? But well, then we can see. Oh yeah, can I do some shit where I like somersault like far enough away from him, like? in the the basement and then like <laughs> aim at them from further away I mean, so i can roll on it instead <laughs> could we also have it to where jimmy is now at the bottom of those stairs those guys just fell down uh sure i mean it doesn't take oh, much to get good, there actually. right the room is not huge it's, tiny. it's it's like the size of i don't know a, a single household family oh, room or so yeah i'm, I'm just saying uh, so like so that jimmy there doesn't have to be people trying to get past jimmy Silas yeah. and John aren't next to Jimmy. So okay. there's not like Jimmy get mad, Jimmy hit. Yeah, okay. So it's these guys just fell directly into Jimmy. They are going to have a sad time. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I like that. But yeah, you can... You can try to um, move yourself into a corner, maybe like behind the table or so. Right, knock over the table as as a uh, a makeshift wall or barrier, and then take more careful aim while the chaos is raging. And that would be a hunt roll if you want to do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Right. Um, for future reference, uh, you can suggest such actions. Okay. So you can say, I want to do this and do that, and then... Yeah, and then you'll decide if, yeah, you if that's cool plausible or okay. not. Yeah. Uh, still risky? Um, For the moment, yeah. All right. And then standard. Mm -hmm. So who are you shooting at? 
There's like one uh, guy left from the original card people. And four more guys, two on their asses at the bottom of the stairs, and two more who rushed in from another door. Uh, and you said Jimmy is now by the ones at the stairs. I want to make yep. sure that I'm aiming in a line of sight that is not with somebody that is an ally. So I'm going to go for the table guy. That's the last one. Okay. Uh, hunt. Okay. Bruh. <laughs> hey. Does it still hit? Cause a four or not? Yeah, it, it is a four. Yeah. It hits. God. Um, I just think everyone here is now going to be like, shit, that guy's got a gun. Let's get him down. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I mean, it it only makes sense, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, like the it, it's like I said, it's not that a big do. room. The gun report is very loud. People pay uh -huh. attention, and suddenly it's like, oh my yeah. god, this guy's got a gun. This guy's got two guns. Exactly. Let's let's get him. Boy. Let's get him. Yeehaw. So people are gonna. <laughs> Uh, because you're behind the table, right? They can't get to you right now, but they are gonna pay attention to you. All right. So the original table guys, though, are all gone. So this is filled up. This is done. Um, I shouldn't have deleted uh, by this that. Time, uh, by this time, the manacles, um, the manacle is still attached to uh, Jimmy's wrist. It is not attached to that guy's neck anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I figured. Oh, how many minutes has it been? <sighs> I don't think it's been that long. Uh, Not yeah, that long. Like, combat yeah. is pretty quick in general. Yeah. People die fast. People yeah. die fast. But yeah, there's definitely a couple of bell rings going on inside. Yeah. About to be four more. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do the other people do? Uh, can, can I make a skirmish roll for Ulf? Um, you can... Not like, I... Just, just due to what Jimmy is doing, it giving Ulf the ability to get people. Um... I would say you can use Ulf as a help to make... To increase your effect to great, for instance. Okay. Um, but, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Get him, John. Get him. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, just if anyone is still left standing, uh, go in and attack them. Either like... Uh... Just, I guess it's like more or less just aim for the stomach. Okay. Get I mean, knock, get them knocked down. You you have prowl, right? Um, prowl, yeah. Yeah, I would definitely say Sneak that now that they're all paying attention Sneak up on to on them Silas, them you could definitely be like against the side of the staircase. And as you see them, you just fucking get them from, like, just surprise the shit out of them with big pipe. Crack a I get, good that So that way, it's a prowl roll and not a skirmish roll. Yeah, good point. Because you're trying to be, you're, you're subterfuging the fight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Um. So, let's see. Do a prowl roll and just... Sneak up behind anybody. Yeah, there's. I mean, and everyone's trying to scrambling to try and get to Silas right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, especially the okay. two who did not land on their ass. On their asses, yeah. yeah. They didn't end up uh, in the, the splash okay. zone. Yeah. How many? How many people are heading towards Silas then? Two. 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 Gotcha. Yeah. Uh. Then yeah, I'll I'll take out one of them. Okay. If two possible. If two possible, but I don't think I could. Nah, not not yeah. like that. Yeah. Figured that. Okay. So yeah, I'll take out one of the guy with a uh, prowess. Mm -hmm. No prowl. Prowl. Careful, yeah. careful prowl. that you don't that's, click the wrong that's, thing. That's, right? that's what I meant. I ha I have it on the uh, on prowl right yeah. now. All right. And I'd probably say the one that is further away from Silas. Yeah. Okay. 
So the other guy doesn't see me. Okay, so prowess, uh, prowl, prowl, uh, risky. Yep. So and then you've got low tr you've got you've got low stress, right, John? Uh, yes, I have like one, two, like uh, five do it a uh, group roll, Silas, help. Okay. Yeah. Because you got two in prowl, right? Yeah. I have two in prowl, yeah. Swag. No, he was asking me if I also had that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. For a group roll, yeah, let's do group roll. Then it is, um, who's um, leading With uh, John as leader. Yeah. I okay. don't think that works because Silas is not backstabbing oh, anyone. Oh, I'm far away. I can't help with cracking someone's skull with a... But would it I help with the same way that, like... Oh, actually, could Jimmy I Jimmy worked as right? a distraction in the skirmish? Oh, yeah, I could aim a gun at the guy. Um... That would be helping. Oh, that's gotta be a stress. That's right. yeah. Taking a stress, take a well, stress nice. to give an extra die. Let's exactly. Not do it. Let's not do it. Group. Sure, yeah. I if I hit max stress, I take one trauma. No. Yes. yes. All right. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> We're already here. All right. <laughs> time to time to get one. All right. I have one trauma. Yeah. Okay. So you so, get a bonus die. So that's uh, risky, standard, and then. One bonus. One bonus dice? Yeah. Yep. All right, let's do it. Let's go. Oh, All right. Let's go. <laughs> let's right. go. So, yeah, you definitely... Uh, Where were you aiming at? The head? Me? Yeah. No. Behind. Oh, no, no, no. If you're going behind... Um, If I'm going from behind... Um, I'm just gonna like aim for the guys like the his back and just swing. All right, so if kidneys could crunch, um, you would hear a big crunch, but the dude definitely goes down groaning, and uh, is out for the count. So, uh. Like would, that so. have, would it announce the uh, would the other guy know about that one? Well, yeah, definitely. Okay. Like he's not I he's not blind or deaf that. or so, right? Okay. So he definitely hears his buddy go down. So could that make him turn around and then have Silas do a, a prowl as well? Um, I wouldn't say so because Silas just shot a fucking gun. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, but Jimmy hasn't done anything yet, right? Yeah, Jimmy's raging. Yeah. So, uh, do you want to whack at the dudes who are? I mean, yeah, sure. Feet? I didn't know. Fuck. I just thought I'd just keep. Yeah, if I'm not an autopilot, and I can actually hit people. Hell yeah. yeah. Uh, Ulf's there. Does that make it go? Yeah, we're on risky because Ulf. Uh, with Ulf's help, though, does it go up to great? Yeah, great effect. Exactly. Cool. You're both whacking at the people on your at your feet. Okay, yeah, that's the four. <laughs> yeah, that's the four. I, I actually would have yeah. said controlled because, you know, they're at their feet. Um, ah, shit. But, you know what, it's, it's okay, you got the four. Um, which means... Huh, let's see. So, you both managed to, to take them out. Um, mm. Do you murder them? I, I assume you might... Yes. Yeah, you murder them, okay. I don't know if Ulf is, but Jimmy is, yes. Okay. Um, I would say as a consequence, though, uh, you almost start going at Ulf as well. Mm -hmm. Right? You're like, lunge at him with your uh, with the block raised, ready to strike, uh, when suddenly you're like, whoa, holy crap, what am I doing? All right, so Ulf will remember this. You right. see it up here on the right. Fallout the 4, top right. <laughs> um, and I don't know if you saw chat, but so oh, it needs to bounce. Yeah, I eight. just wanted to give you a heads up. So oh, okay with you. I'm, I'm, rel I'm relinquishing Silas rights to, to bed. If it's okay with you. Session, if that's cool. Uh, uh, just because I had to head out at the hour. Yeah. Um, you, you, you're at max stress, right? I have one trauma, yeah. Yeah, okay, so Silas is out in any case. Um, because. Oh, that just puts him out because of that, anyways? Yeah. 
oh well that works out <laughs> yeah <laughs> hey, all right okay well, okay right <laughs> well in that case then i guess that's a good spot yeah thank you it, for the session i'm sorry i had to bounce early yeah no sorry it, it took a bit longer than expected as well so sorry yeah, about no all worries, that but i will see you all most likely next week yo all right bye, sir. thank you bye silent bye, bye. Sir. have a good one eat well okay yeah um so let's try to wrap this up um there's not much going on anymore uh I mean, Silas collapses from the stress, but there is one dude left, and he does not want to fight, f like, four armed people, or three armed people at this case, right? Uh, with all of his buddies down for the count, that's... no, he... he's not suicidal. Oh, is he gonna try to run it's away? Just, it's he's just one guy. I don't think he can run away, so he just drops to his knees. It's like, oh, please. What do you want? Who are you? <laughs> uh, Jimmy's going to raise the block. Uh, he's going to uh, look at him in the eyes and say, uh, glory to Skovlin, and then smash his fucking skull in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's a final dung. And uh, then he's gonna thing. pick up Silas and be like, "Let's get the fuck out of here." <laughs> yeah, you should probably head out. I like this idea. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you hightail it out of there. Um, the streets are now in disarray because people in the bar have definitely he heard all of the bell rings. Um. And are like, what the heck is going on down there? And are like rushing out into the street. It's like, what is going on? Who's been murdered? So there's a lot going on. There's blue coats trying to gain control of the crowd and such. So you you just barely manage to slip away through the chaos <laughs> and um, try to get away or like, yeah, get away from there. God. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, all right. Oof. Don't you mean oof? <laughs> that went just about as well as I thought it would. Oh man, that's that was uh, that was chaos. But okay. Uh, do we get that turf? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> and do we? Uh, did we successfully uh get rid of that? <laughs> that crew yes you did yeah, they were fuck them they don't need oh yeah they were the uh the, the, the cod fucking cod swaddlers. <laughs> oh yeah all right which thank god that's not a name we need to know anymore <laughs> all right which of the two do you want left or right oh or do you want to decide that next time god i say we decide next time because i don't want to make the decision without it's all okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that works. Um, Jimmy got some harm though. Yeah, what is my harm? Uh, I would say it's a uh, level one harm. Uh, oh, and you had the splintered arm going on, so actually uh -huh. lots of less effect when fighting people. I forgot about that. See, we're all oh, shit. we're all learning today. It's okay. Oh, fuck. it's okay. Um, but another level one harm, I would say sprained wrist, something like that. Okay. Um, however, because you took harm, new harm, your progress clock for healing gets cleared because all the healing gets undone. <gasps> you must gather your party before. Oh my goodness. Ah, Fauna. <laughs> Fauna, hi. How are you doing? Uh, Hello, Raider. Yo, what's up, Raiders? <laughs> hi, Paul. Hi, Brain Jet. Hi, Ame. Um, hello. How was your stream? Minecraft. Yeah. How 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 did that go? Um, we are we are indeed having fun. We just spent like one and a half hours murdering a whole bunch of people in a basement so 
that was fun. A lot of people. <laughs> yeah, a, a lot of people. Um, and yeah, <laughs> welcome. Oh my goodness, I'm not prepared for this. Welcome everyone <laughs> to to the stream. Uh, my name is Chichen. I'm a bard. We're playing Blades in the Dark right now. It's a tabletop RPG. Uh, it's just not Dungeons and Dragons. So if you know Dungeons and Dragons, uh, this is not it. <laughs> and I have with me here uh, Bebu and Joe, who are currently playing in this game. There is also Sol, who had to leave a bit earlier. Um, yeah, say hi. Hi, Chichen's cool. You should follow Chichen. <laughs> Chichen. For a second, uh, I'm not saying that as his mod or anything like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fauna, definitely. Thank you so much for the raid, and uh, have a have a great night. Uh, I wish sleep you... Sleep well, yeah, gamer. Yeah, sleep well. I wish you a very Fauna, restful a sleep. Thank you again for the raid. Um... But yeah, we just we just spend so Blades in the Dark is a game about a group of uh, criminals doing criminal things. So this time the criminals decided to murder a bunch of people because those people were also evil. And, and murder is fun. Yeah, and murder is fun. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my um, opinions don't reflect the values of Chichen. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, we're, we're actually close to the end of the session though, because we just finished up the adventure. Um, people were murdered, the group managed to get away, uh, in the ensuing chaos and is now back, uh, at their, at their home base or making their way back to the home base. Uh, hey, oh. Uh, Barb 8 Mac, thank you for following. Welcome to the guild. Hope you'll join us for many adventures. Yeah. Um, so that's that's been going on here. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what else to say right now. Fauna is also awesome. Bebu is awesome. Joe is awesome. Soul is awesome. They're all awesome. Follow all of them. Um... <laughs> Want to get awesome. on with the uh, with the leveling? <laughs> yeah, get, uh, that might be a little bit overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, All right, let's, let's go. Let's let's do the uh, the XP thing. Yeah, sorry for for everyone who just came in by the raid, but we were basically done with the session. Um, the sessions usually last around three hours. Uh, we started a bit later today. Um, and we're oh, just basically no doing the, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're basically just going to do the, uh, end of session things right now. And then, and right. Yeah. Be also because one of the players had to leave. So, oh man, I keep shifting this. So doing any of the extra stuff right now, unless you guys want to do downtime, uh, yes. and then soul can forget. do downtime. At the beginning of next session so that we don't have to do everything together yes because i will forget and then i will get too much stress and then i will get another trauma <laughs> okay so let's do downtime um yeah you managed to uh wipe out an entire other gang the caught swaddlers are no more uh, the bar is in disarray. The people of the, the Scovlin refugees from the uh, uh, the neighborhood they were harassing can rest easy now. Um, you'll still have to throw your weight around every now and then, right? Um, mm -hmm. To show presence. But other than that, things are looking okay. <clears throat> For now. Hell yeah. Uh... So, I'm assuming we get coin out of this. Um, did you actually raid their place? No, you didn't actually take any coin from them, we, right? We really just attacked them, if anything else. Yeah. Um, I would say maybe the merchants might pay you a little bit as a thank you. I mean... 
would we get our normal like our week of doing things uh like of dealing drugs yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you you get <laughs> okay, you, right. you, you get the seven coin from the uh the cult the the weird ghost dancer cult yeah. okay and then do we get plus two because of our local graph because we used a show of force uh ooh, that's a very good question Yes, but you would have to pay the bill hooks one coin of that. That's fine. That's that's fine with me. That means we get another coin. Yeah. Yeah. So you get especially eight coins. after we just killed another crew. It's probably a good idea to give the bill hooks some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can store four more coin in your vault, and then you have four more left over to distribute amongst yourselves if that's what you want to do, or you can distribute however you want. Uh, uh, a hey, uh, hey, John. Yo. Uh, this one's fucking out of it. Uh, why don't you split this one between us? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, I I lost my shit one time. I didn't really get anything special. You lost your shit one time. You didn't get anything special. But we stayed up and still fought. What about this guy? He passed out. He'll be fine. <laughs> I mean, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. Exactly. <sighs> and plus, it's hard to split up four between three people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so each of you gets two extra coin. Yeah. I need that because I need to get my fucking shit so badly. <laughs> <laughs> My downtime is going to be indulging in vice and healing. Yes. <laughs> okay, just, so... Just let me uh, know if you need me to throw a coin your way. I'll help you out with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Bebo, do you want to do downtime first, then? God, please. First, indulging my vo my uh, vice. All right. What How would you... I get bonus dice on this? You don't. Okay, because it's asking me for bonus dice. I didn't think I would. Huh. That's strange. What do you actually do? What is your obligation to the Fortuna family? What does that look like? Um, I I think it really just means I don't know. Uh, it definitely means stepping away from our actual business. Okay. It means like doing a bunch of very dangerous shit for free okay putting himself at risk for the obligations of the fortuna family so that's like jimmy isn't the guy telling people to run drugs jimmy is going to be doing the stuff on the level of a drug dealer okay it's like the thing that made jimmy who jimmy is jimmy is going to be going out and breaking ankles and stuff but specifically for the Fortuna family. Okay. Um, so you're on another run for the family. It, yeah. And it's his like rationalization of like, yeah, it's violent, but it's different because it's family. Yeah. It's right. Family. So you're probably, I don't know. <sighs> what did you fucking? I rolled two. Oh, that's. Oh, well, at least you uh, recover two stress. That's something. I mean, can I use my, uh, uh, can I indulge vice twice? That's a very good question, if it's possible. Um, wait, did we do, we didn't do the payoff overall. Um, we didn't do any payoff, so let's do that real quickly while I look up the rules for, for Vice Indulgent as well. Um, I would say this was a, a very loud and chaotic score. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you definitely murdered some people. Eight. Yeah, so that's murdered uh, eight people. So that would be six heat. 
for the crew. One, two, three, four, five. That gives you a wanted level. Uh, <laughs> it's only one. We'll be fine. Uh, for now, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, how many berries do we have now? <laughs> and we didn't do entanglements. Oh, man. We, we just skipped ahead. Ah, oh, the raid threw me off so much. I blame Fauna. Fauna! <laughs> Fauna! How dare you, Fauna? Funana, if you are watching this VOD, uh, you are awesome. <laughs> Don't try and cover up your tracks. <laughs> okay. Let's do uh, entanglement real quick. So, <laughs> entanglement is one die per wanted level. Since you now have a wanted level of one, that means it's actually one die. Um... But you only have one heat, right? So mm -hmm. that's not too bad. Um, so one heat and a two. That's gang trouble or the usual suspects. Um, what is the usual suspects? Um... Do we have any usual suspects left? I mean, it could be anyone. Let's say... Okay. Right, so I, I would go with usual suspects because that makes more sense. Uh, the blue coats are not happy with... Oh, oh great. I'm going to get beat up again, aren't I? <laughs> no, not you. Not you. That that was... That's not questioning. Uh, <laughs> the blue coats are not happy with... The chaos you guys caused in that bar, but they can't really pin it on you. Yet. Well, it's a good thing I don't know anything. <laughs> so I'm good. So instead, they try the angle of getting someone from the Fortuna family. Uh, they know there's some Scovlin connection there, so they go to the Fortuna family and mm. try to press them. Maybe a cousin? But like, does does Jimmy have a, a cousin? Oh yeah, yeah. Jimmy's okay, got a lot of cousins. A lot of cousins. So one of the one of the cousins gets uh, ganged up on, and um, so they either get questioned or you can pay off the blue coins. Uh, the blue coins. <laughs> the blue coats with a coin. Might as well be. <laughs> Oh god. Uh, how much do they do these motherfuckers want? One. One coin? Yeah. And that can just come from our vaults? Uh yeah. It can. Oh yeah. Fuck it, are you down with that? John? You down with that? I don't see why not. Yeah, it's one coin. We have eight. Alright, so while you're on your way to the Fortuna family to help out with their business. You hear that one of your cousins is uh, being pressured by the blue coats, and you just head there and go to the captain. It's like, yo, can, we can forget this. Buy yourself something nice. Buy yourself uh, a, a nice bluer coat, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> a, ni a, a nice sky blue. Sky nice blue. A bluer coat to match your blue balls. You son of a all right, so that's that. Oof, now downtime. Okay, now, um, indulge vice. Um, uh, it doesn't actually say. Uh, you may choose the same activity more than once. Yeah. Cool. I'm indulging in my voice again, because worst case scenario, I roll a... I roll a six, but that's a one in five shot, and I'm willing to take it. Okay. Well, I remember, our rolls have been shit, too. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> clear an amount of stress equal to the highest die roll. That's five. Yeah. I can clear five stress. Yeah. 
That's Thanks. what we call one so, in a million shot, baby. So Jimmy is out there no. breaking wrists and ankles and full in his element and all of the, the stress from the drug dealing just melts away. And He's, then I'm gonna I'm gonna spend all of my money, all three on healing. Alright. I'll just do this real quick. So you can spend one for now. Just to make a healing roll, a normal healing roll. Okay. Um. Ooh. Oh. Okay, that was a really nice result. I was gonna say. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, you actually get one die. But you roll two sixes. You you take the lowest. You know what? Screw that. You get the six. <laughs> So that fills your healing clock by three. Okay. If you want, you can spend another coin to completely fill it up to increase yeah. the effectiveness, right? Uh, it rolls over. So what actually happens is um, if you roll a one, two, or three, you fill one segment. Four or five mm -hmm. is two. Six is three. And then a double six, which is a crit, fills five. Right, so you upgrade from a normal six to a crit, which fills five segments. So you technically have one extra. It doesn't do anything for you right now, but you know why not? Uh, even <laughs> though I have the splinted arm and the sprained wrist. Yeah, all of your injuries get reduced by one. Oh. So they're both gone. Okay, swag. All right. And That's, uh. uh... That's that's Jimmy's downtime. That's Jimmy's downtime. Yeah. Uh, unborn, Game thanks again for those redeems. Hydrate and stretch. Swag, unborn, thanks. Unborn. True game right here. Mm. Oof. Some good water out there. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. Joe, let's do. Let's do John. My my do my downtime. Mm-hmm. Okay, I would like one of them to be indulge in vice. And I didn't want to know just like, which one do you think you would be? Because I think it's either going to be pleasure or weird. Um, would it, would it not be talk with the fucking demon? That's not vice indulging necessarily. Yeah. Is, it, is it not just due to the fact that it's clearly high detriment? Like he he's doing it. He knows it's bad for him. But, but he made needs... a deal with him. I'm just kind of. Oh, you did. Uh, it's. I'm just kind of like talking to someone. Yeah. It's, it's not serious. Like We're just talking. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's 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 not a serious relationship right now. Oh man. Um. You yeah, could. The thing I was thinking of is have it like. John just kind of like goes off and like reads and studies on ghosts and the paranormal. Mm. It could make it even more interesting. Uh, let's see what the book has as suggestions for weird. Um,. I know it says like you could you experiment with strain with uh strain essences, uh consult with rogue spirits, observe bizarre rituals or taboos. Yeah, so it's probably more than just studying. It's it's actually experiencing something that's weird. Right? Okay, gotcha. So it'd probably just be more pleasure of just like in like the arts, if anything. If you want to do that, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I just, I would just say that. I just wasn't sure like which one it would, it would classify us. Okay, and then I go over. So that means I go over to uh, where did I go over. Uh, uh, indulge vice. Yeah, so it's over you the trauma. Go to art galleries and such, right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm talking like for the role. Yeah, for it. yeah. There's a button. Oh, no, indulge I vice. See yeah. I see now. Uh, and then zero dice, correct? Zero bonus, yeah. Zero bonus, yep, yeah. okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
Okay. I'll take the, I'll take the one then. Okay. Yeah. So you remove that's, one stress. That's, fine by, that's actually fine by me. I read like a couple chapters of the book in the, at home then. Okay. Um, and then I actually want to do some training. Okay. Remember, you still have um, the the harm. Yes, but I'm only at one harm. I'm not that really that bad right now. Yeah, but if you don't spend a downtime action healing, it will recover on its own, and you will gain that stress back. So I can't just since it's so I can't have it where like a heal. It, it like uh, injuries and harm will heal on their own even if you don't have someone attend to them but because you're trying to tough them out you gain a stress when that happens okay okay now i understand gotcha um So, do you want to uh, heal or I'll do? Tough it out. I'll tough it out. Yeah. Okay. I'll tough it out. Yeah. Why do you want to train, then? Um. Uh. Prowess. Okay. Okay, and then. That's uh one experience then in prowess. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Okay, and then make a healing roll with uh, yeah, zero dice no. because no one's attending them. It's right next to the harm and armor use, correct? Yeah, exactly. Make sure. No, no dice. Two. Okay, so that fills up one segment. One. Yep. And you okay. gain gotcha. a stress. Yep. I, yeah, I, I, I put it back. All right. Okay, All right. so that was downtime. Wow. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that, that went better than it should have. Yep. That should have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh... And, uh, XP, right? Yeah, so let's go with XP. All right, uh, Joe, since I have your sheet open, let's let's do this first. All right. Uh, there were no desperate actions this time around, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, you address a challenge with knowledge or arcane power. Um. Uh, Not with prowess, maybe. Really stretching it? Yeah, I wouldn't really say so. Not okay. not this time around. Uh, you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Nah. Yeah, also not quite. Yeah, that was definitely more Jimmy, if anything. Yeah. Uh, struggle with issues from your vice or trauma? Uh, no, not really. Not really, okay. Yeah, then that looks like nothing more this All session. Right. Yep. Gotcha. All right. No problem. All right. Bebu. <laughs> uh, dress a challenge with violence or coercion. Uh, Eight of them. Yeah, Absolutely. a lot. <laughs> uh, that's. I think we can just go to... I think I did all of these a lot. Yes. Uh, I think I... Besides the trauma, yeah. right? Uh, the trauma was me killing these people instead of breaking them like I did before. Uh, yeah, I yeah, I would say so, yeah. Yeah. So does that mean Mark 6 XP? Yeah, 6 XP. <laughs> Holy uh. shit. God, fuck, dude. Jimmy, Jimmy is really hard to play because it just sucks being a piece of shit all the time. <laughs> but then, like, you get rewarded for it. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's isn't this game beautiful? It's like being a bad person in real life. Uh, yeah. Chichen is trying to like break, like just like man, isn't being a bad person great? <laughs> we don't have playbook training, do we? Uh, no. Not that it would be training. I'm just. Checking. You have insight and resolve. Trying to think tactfully. Yeah. Insight and resolve. Okay, so I won't put points in those because I can train those and get double points for one point. Um, then. Oh. 
bomb. Sorry, I'm. Yeah, no problem. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, we're putting it all towards playbook. Okay, all towards playbook. Oh yeah, the, all of these special abilities. Are things <laughs> all needs. of them. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. Then let's also do the crew XP real quick. Uh, acquire product supply. Kind of stand cover. Sell secure new territory. Yeah. Yeah. You secured new territory. Nice. And and you threw out another gang in the process. So I would say that's that's two XP. Nice. Uh, content with challenges above your current station. Yeah. You took on a group that's slightly, slightly more powerful than you. So one. Bolster your crew's reputation. Or to establish a new one. I mean, people know who we are now. We keep, we keep we, establishing we, new reputations. Yeah, we do. I, would, I think this one just makes us murderers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo. Like, they just bloodthirsty the would be a yes. reputation now. Yeah. They're like, man, that gang, they sure love hurting people. Meanwhile, that gang... John and Silas trying to be smart. Meanwhile, Jimmy eating human flesh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew. Um. Mm. No. Well, I, mean, uh, I I don't I don't think so. No. Unless you want to make count, man. I don't really like those people. <laughs> a part of that. Um. No, because I mean, the thing we really worked toward was turf and then making Ulf like us. Yeah. Which I don't know if Ulf likes us or if Ulf like uh, is kind of afraid of us now. I would say hey. it. I would say it cancels out. <laughs> Damn. I like these guys, but I'm also kind of terrified. Of <laughs> I like these guys. I fucking hate Jimmy. <laughs> these guys as a group, they're okay. Jimmy, get them the fuck away from uh, me. Wasn't your goal to nicely improve the neighborhood? Like the soup kitchen? I mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah, but you have to clear the neighborhood first. Yeah, but that's that's not a... That that was the goal of the session. That's not a an essential goal of the of the crew as a whole. No. Right. the The goal of the crew is not make Duskwall a nicer place. It's sell all the drugs. We do sell a lot of drugs. Yeah. We do sell a lot of drugs. Maybe we don't do it enough. But uh, when we do it, we do it well. Um. Yeah. So I would just say. 3 XP for the crew right now. Okay. Do you get... Wait, you also get rep. Uh, it's always... I knew I forgot something. Um, I am going to mark that turf, though. Oops. Uh-oh. You were at 4. How do I mark this one? Ah, there we go. Um, how much rep do you gain? Two rep by default, plus one if it's a higher tier. So you gain three. There we go. Uh, after hearing your drugs might go boom, not so keen to try. <laughs> Soup kitchen is destroy gang, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> We're still helping the greater good. Yeah, exactly. Make Duskwall a um a a a Festering more empty place. <laughs> I mean you're not making it nicer, you're not making it less violent, you know, you're probably adding net violence. You know what? Uh, we're cleaning up the streets. <laughs> And you know washing. what? Maybe I should be clean from the streets too. You clean the streets by washing them with blood. Exactly. 
Vietnamese looking out of the horizon. Ah, we made it the, the place. We made Dusswa a better place. See, you, yeah. to, you told me that. Uh, you did tell yeah. us that the blue coats aren't like real cops. They're like a gang. So yeah. I was like, oh, so we need cops. I'll start <laughs> killing people. <laughs> Oof. All right. Um, I think that was it then, though. Yeah, the crew right. got the XP, etc. Yeah, that looks like it was it. Okay. Swag money. Yeah, this this was a, a chaotic session. <laughs> um, to but, say the least. <laughs> but I think we've all learned a bit more about how the game works, which is which and is also ourselves. valuable. Yeah. <laughs> Knowledge knowing is half the battle, or something. Now I know not to bother Chichen asking about exactly how I can make explosives for much <laughs> longer and waste everyone's time. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, it's my first time running this game as well, so. You're, you're, doing, okay. you're, you're doing a fantastic job. You I definitely want to play this type Thank of game you. again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Um, do you guys want to shout yourselves out real quick for the ending? Hi, my name is Bobby Chan. I'm your bi. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yo, as before, I'm born, I hate you. Uh, as before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, fucking, oh man! And just the late Ara Aras. Ah, uh, let's see. Just usual. Cyberpunk playing through more Cyberpunk as usual. Uh, Shit! Uh, I think I just woke though, up a neighbor. Oh. What? What's up? I think I just woke up a neighbor. Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Just gonna be, just gonna be quiet this time. Um, yeah, 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 unfortunately. <laughs> um, uh -oh. unfortunately, um, we finished the game that we were playing last week, so I actually do not have a a, a stream today so this is my only stream on wednesday so i'm a bit sad on that but we're trying to get into seeing if we can do another game and i'll be uh so it's gonna be hopefully we can do that soon and then uh same person that i was collabing with andy dairy uh i helped him release a asmr video for his 1k special follow on twitter so that was like the special project that I was helping him run. I made the video, did a bit of the audio engineering work on it, and made the, th the thumbnail for it. So yeah, that was my week, I guess. Swag, swag, yes. I'm just gonna be real quiet now. Okay. A bit spooked. Okay. We we get we finally get that Chichen ASMR. Thanks. Thanks for GMing, Chichen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank. Um, thank you, Chichen. Um, thank you for streaming. Okay. This one. This one goes out to my boy Unborn, and uh, to my gamer, uh, Barbe Mac. Ara, ara. Hopefully that did that come through. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll do mine. <laughs> For unborn. Very, very quiet. All right. Oh, oh. All right oh, that got picked up. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best here. Uh, uh, uh. Swag. Your okay. swag. Okay. Um. 
sorry, I'm a bit thrown off my thought process here because of the neighbor. Uh, I feel horrible right now. Um, uh, What's your next stream? My next stream, I'm, I don't actually know. I'm trying to stream more this week. But, yeah. um, I'll have to see. Uh, Blades in, play, in the dark. So I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, look for someone to raid. I think I found someone to raid. Okay. So um, yeah, we are going to raid Aquapunk, who is a really, really amazing streamer, super, super awesome person, and um. Who is currently playing some League. So that's a game you don't see very often. Um, nice. So let me let me get that ra raid started and um let me get that. Yes, okay. Uh yeah, thank you everyone for coming by. And um we'll probably have a session next week. Yeah. yeah. Looking yeah. forward to it. Alright. Yeah. Thank you everyone for coming. And uh see you soon, maybe, hopefully. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye everybody.